During the law on the transfer of cultivation by inheritance, it was forgotten. The spiritual energy of the entire world was completely lost for everyone. All this led to the fact that the heavenly punishment has not appeared for several thousand years. And that is why everything was formed this way. For any cultivator, this means complete hopelessness that nothing can be done and give some kind of next chance in a new period of life. This guy was able to find his way in this hopeless world and with his help he can achieve whatever he wants. He believed that his strength would be incredibly great and thanks to this he would be able to control everything that was inside him. He felt that after this he had become the last cultivator of this world and today he would become the one everyone would fear. The guy understood that there was no limit to his strength and thanks to this, everyone would be afraid and would not even be able to resist him. He will become the one whom everyone fears and therefore no one will be able to stop him even if someone falls into it to do so because everything was already predetermined. This guy's name is Hu Xiao and it is clear from him that he is not the most ordinary because he likes to read books, which means that he is developing well. He said that in this world, few people believe that you can become a great hero who lives in heaven. But only he tried his best every day to become much better and be the one they dreamed of. He found all the ancient legends alone and went around the whole world. He thought about this for a very long time and suddenly decided to do it. The guy was trying to draw one thing that he wanted to talk about further. As it turned out, he collected the crushed small pieces of various cultivation techniques thanks to which he wants to become much better. He plunged headlong into these villages' remains, then he collected the spiritual energy of this world in small particles. With this power, he will be able to really master a lot. Only with this work did he manage to strengthen his gift, which is in each of us. The guy hoped that he would be able to do this after all, because he had been thinking about this for several days. He raised his eyes and believed in himself that he would be able to do all this because he was able to come here. He couldn't believe that they really existed and with burning eyes he looked at what stood in front of him. There were palaces of the celestials about which many had already spoken, but no one really believed in it. A huge bird appeared in front of him and was surprised that a man had come to him. The bird said that the person should not be here. He realized that this was truly the legendary phoenix. It was a sacred beast that kept it all. The guy began to apologize and told me that he was just a person and that he had recently become what ordinary people dream of becoming. The guy thought that he would soon become a colleague with this bird. He began to look at what he had with him and realized that he didn't even take anything with him, it was completely indecent, because coming without a gift was ugly. The bird said that there are no people who want to go further, so he must understand that he was mistaken. The bird understood that she needed to leave here as quickly as possible because it was impossible for anyone to find out about this. The guy did not understand what was happening to her. The bird said that a thousand years ago all this was already destroyed and the heavenly punishment had long since disappeared, so no one was here anymore. Phoenix also said that since those terrible times, no one has appeared and ascended to this. The bird said that without these people it is no longer possible for them to exist, so he must understand that he should already leave here. But the guy said that he managed to come here, so he is one of them. It is because of this that he should be the only one. The bird said that his soul really has incredible energy, which was developed due to the fact that he did this for a very long time, but since he is immortal, he has nothing to do here. The bird said that he cannot avoid old age and death and that is why he cannot be considered one of them who live forever. He said that she was even very glad that at least someone had come to sit at the tables here over the years, so she didn't mind. She also said that he could get something as a reward for all the things he was able to do while getting here. Bird said that he could send him to any of the worlds and of course he would not be an ordinary resident, but would become great and rule there. She said that he could experience any of the 10,000 worlds and move between them absolutely freely. Also, if he wants to change into the body of one of the creatures, he can do so as soon as he says so. Phoenix said that no one else needed the remaining artifacts and scrolls, he could take whatever he wanted. The guy began to ask if in these worlds there is an opportunity to rise higher, because he hopes that somewhere he will have a chance to become like a bird. She answered him that it had been destroyed a long time ago, so there was no way he could become like that. The bird explained to him that there was no longer any chance for him to become one of them because he was an ordinary person who would die. But suddenly he noticed that she said that the reason for the destruction was the lack of new ascended ones. The guy hinted not that he could become one of them. She said that this is very true, so he should choose peace for himself and enjoy life. 
that's all this bird could give him. The guy said that he wants to stay here and does not plan to live somehow ideally. He wanted to strive for perfection. The guy said that he wants to stay and restore absolutely everything and also find a path to immortality. The bird said that if he so wishes, then she has no other choice except how to give him this pleasant gift. She began to tell him that absolutely all of this had already been destroyed, so he would need to restore it all. And the very path to this place had long been closed, so he would have to move there for a very long time. She also said that the palace, which was incredibly beautiful, was very high up and in order for him to get away he needed to get there. She also told him that he should understand that this also includes her in this matter so she can help him. More precisely, she said that she would belong to him until the end of her days. The girl was incredible and beautiful. The girl introduced herself to him and told him what her name was. She looked simply incredible, her long white hair covered all her beauty. The guy couldn't believe that this was the same phoenix who had just turned into a girl right before his eyes. She said that she knows how to do it. The guy asked if she could become a phoenix again. Because that makes me feel much better to him. She got very angry and said that her neck was very tired so he should calm down and normal people like this shape. The guy couldn't believe that she could really be that very leadership and look very careless. She said that to be honest, everything here is not so valuable, so if he wants to rule here, then he can do it. She asked how he was trying to achieve to become one of the most important here. She began to ask him what he wanted and showed him the incredible charms that she had. She began to approach him and said that if he wanted to take full advantage of her, then she could arrange it for him. The guy felt that of course he would take advantage of this, because he understood that the extra hands would definitely not hurt him. He said emotionally that everything needs to be restored here and it doesn't matter what he does. Much stronger. He ordered her to run for pills and also said that he was sure that he could build it all again. The girl didn't understand why he was so strange, why he felt somehow incredible. The guy also said that he must restore the transfer of power because in his it was lost. Therefore, it must be returned immediately. The girl said that there was nothing and felt as if Karstiva had not touched her at all. The guy was very upset and did not understand why everything was happening like this, because he hoped that he would have much more opportunities here. The girl told him that this place is just ruins and there are no cultivation pills here, so he should calm down and understand that all his ambitions are just going down the drain. She began to discuss other things with them, because he also reminded her about the practices. But for an ordinary person, they will not be able to suit his character at all. She also told him that he could explore the rest of the palaces himself, because in this world he can do anything because there are many more opportunities here than he only thinks about himself. She explained to him that all these palaces exist among ten thousand worlds, and since they are destroyed, all these worlds, along with these things, are also separated. The guy got very angry because he understood that he would have to find it all among these worlds and it would take a huge amount of time. The girl said that it wasn't that much and began to take something out from under her clothes so that the guy could relax at least for a second. She got him a huge mirror so that he could find the gods as soon as he wanted. She explained that thanks to him it is possible to find future or existing artifacts and it is still intact even though it was created a very long time ago. She said that for now he cannot be used at full strength, but he can see different worlds. This mirror could really shorten his search. She couldn't understand why this man was shining because he noticed that he was really something unusual. The girl looked around to understand what he was talking about. It is that of the person who was in the center in some very large huge golden sphere. The girl said that this woman has hidden potential and in fact this mirror is needed to find similar people. He stuck two fingers in there and also asked her what kind of measures he could get into. The girl sat very upset because he, too, as soon as he saw this beautiful thing, decided to immediately be transported there and she really didn't understand why everyone wanted this. The guy was already ready to start work in the evening and wanted to find new newcomers for the sake of whom he could become stronger. The girl sat very upset. Suddenly she heard his words and did not understand what he was going to do now, because such a thing had previously been unacceptable. And I told her that if she told him that the palaces were destroyed due to the lack of new people. So he decided to add new ones here. The girl said that this was impossible because the heavenly punishment had disappeared and the path here was already closed. She explained that no one else could get here and even he somehow got here. The guy told her to relax and let her be transported, 
but he ate the dog to find many opportunities. The guy finally decided to jump there and said that he didn't care what the consequences would be because he could overcome them. He didn't understand how there was no heavenly punishment and so he began to move through this portal to get to new worlds in which he could find himself. The guy continued to travel and felt that it was not very easy for him, but he had no other choice because this was the only option to find himself a new life. The girl who was at that place noticed that this guy was somehow strange and she immediately felt some powerful energy from him. It was clear that the others did not really like the fact that some mortal had ended up in this world, so even nature itself began to feel it. But the guy said that he himself would become heavenly punishment and was confident in his abilities. He was simply unstoppable with his strength and intentions. The guy was able to move into the new world and felt that with such effects he became much stronger. It's all thanks to this artifact. The guy understood that even. The transfer is very accurate because he wanted to get right here to this girl who was on a chain with incredible shapes. The guy began to greet her and said that he was the heavenly punishment that she had to meet. He was very confident in himself and wanted to prove to everyone that he was better than them. The girl couldn't believe that this guy started calling himself heavenly punishment. It sounded very stupid and completely incomprehensible. The guy began to scratch his head and said that he also thought that it sounded very strange, but now the palaces are not so full-fledged. Suddenly some Chinese came out and noticed that the guy had actually landed in front of the girl who was on a chain. The Chinese were very angry and could not understand who dared to go to the place of execution. He was very angry that the guy went there. Suddenly he realized that this was a place for execution and now there was practically no way to save him, because the chances of him being released were very small. He really realized that most likely this was a large place similar to an execution place where people were killed for their problems. The guy asked the girl whether she should be executed and she calmly told him that yes, which meant that he would now have to save his life. The guy didn't understand why she should be executed because she was about to become a very cool celestial. After all, she should soon become one, but she's just sitting there. The same phoenix flew in front of him and said that if he did not understand, he would wander around and lose his life. There was no longer a chance to return cultivation. The bird flew up to the girl and said that the mirror of the search for the gods had determined the goal and perhaps she had somehow achieved it. The workers got very angry and said to be grabbed immediately because they didn't like the fact that they were in this place. But the guy calmly managed to break this chain, thanks to which he wanted to save this girl and make her one of the strongest. The guy said that first they should leave this place because he didn't want to continue to be here because they could be killed. The guy said that the third seal would be activated and thanks to this power, he wanted to immediately disappear from here. He was able to leave this place in an instant along with the girl who was on a chain and should have died very soon. The workers did not understand how this was possible, since the guy disappeared right before their eyes. They realized that this was a spell from the western regions. Some very important man said that he did not expect such a move from them at all and therefore he had some kind of competitor. This king was sitting on his throne and called his ward to come to him and discuss one important thing with him. The guy was able to take this girl somewhere into the forest and said that they would be safe here, he did this so that she would feel safe. The bird said that he was just running wildly on his own two feet and I would pretend that I could be transported to another place. She said it was just a masterpiece. The guy said that there was nothing special about it and even though it worked he didn't care. The bird said that she did not at all expect that he would be able to take this girl with him. The guy understood that most likely he had caused some problems. He said that a true protagonist must wield the strongest techniques. He also said that pathetic mortals have no right to kill this girl. The bird said that he would kill his boca and after him someone stronger, and thus raise his cultivation rank. The guy said that this bird most likely watched the anime and the girl didn't know what to do. After all, they saved her life. The guy understood that he should introduce himself because this girl had been waiting for him for a long time because he still hadn't told her why he took her. He was able to explain to her the very reason why he took her. And the girl could not believe that she would become one of the strongest. Karen said that she is absolutely right and since she already knows a lot about it, it will be much easier. The bird said that most likely she already knows the basic knowledge of cultivation. The guy said that they were in a hurry in recruiting celestials, but first he would like to clarify something. And this did not give him peace. 
The guy said that he was sure that the previous heavenly punishment was somehow checking the future celestials. The bird noticed that he really had a profile in this topic. The guy asked her what she had done wrong that they wanted to execute her. The girl felt very bad and understood that she would have to respond to this. They looked into each other's eyes and the guy felt some kind of chill, he was sure that she was about to split. The girl said that she just killed the emperor. This meant that she betrayed the state, poisoned her, said nasty things, took a bribe, and so on. She had so many sins that she could not even count them on her fingers. It was very difficult to understand what she didn't do at all in this life. The guy couldn't understand why he even came across this villain because with her he would have a lot of problems and he wouldn't be able to control everything himself. The girl introduced herself and said what her name was. She said that she also has many different opportunities, but the most important thing is that she is the daughter of a doctor. She also said that her adoptive father hoped that she would one day become an imperial concubine, but a few years later there was a conflict in the kingdom and at that moment one man proclaimed himself emperor. This person is very cruel and does not understand the real rules of the government at all. His whole goal was to destroy his enemies in order to know his worth. But the new emperor had a huge army on his side and therefore they destroyed everyone. Her father wanted to end this unrest by teaming up with the local authorities. She is very sweet, so she was able to win the heart of this man. She really looked incredible and her breasts couldn't even fit into her bra. Later, her father ordered to prepare a beautiful room in which she was already waiting for the new emperor in order to spend the perfect time with him. When he approached her, he revealed everything to her, and it was after this that she had to sit in such a bad place and understand that she would soon die. The guy said that these were just stunning plans and continued to eat the watermelon. The bird told him to discard all other things and tell him the whole truth. The girl said that she did everything according to plan. She took out a spear that was hidden under the blanket and attacked the emperor. Their battle was very long. In the end, she failed to remove him and it turned out that he was much stronger and more experienced than her, which is why she still lost and was deprived of the opportunity to live. The guy said that they had completely different concepts of experience, and the bird added that besides, it was possible not to tell the story. The girl said that she was very weak and useless, so she could not fulfill her father's instructions. The guy said that he thinks that the problem is with her father because it is very strange to send an adopted daughter on such tasks. The bird said that their plan was a failure from the very beginning and they had no chance of winning. The bird said that she thought that if the handsome hero went to that room, then everything would be different. She knew that the cruel emperor could sneak up in the night. The guy said that all this is not important and everything needs to be done to help this girl ascend and become a celestial. The girl believed that she could really become a celestial being, because these are immortal deities who live high in the skies, thanks to this they will flourish there. The guy said that she spoke exactly to the point and to escape from the bustle of the world and unite with the heavenly palaces. It's just wonderful. He said that there was no need to waste time and that we needed to move on. And the girl said that she was simply beautiful and she was very glad that they could save her from there. The bird noticed that she was lying to them, so she told her to stop doing it. The bird said that they had finally come to the most interesting thing. They wanted to know how they could ascend to the celestials. The bird said that she would really like to see what she could do to enchant times when all else fails. The guy said that there is nothing complicated in this and he is ready to fight these difficulties that may get in his way. He asked her to come to him because he wanted to do something with him. The girl understands that since he is in life, she had to obey his orders and she had no other choice. The guy said that we need to start with this and grabbed her by the pigtail to do something very important. Then he did something completely different and she felt that it was becoming much easier for her because now she was completely different. After a few seconds, he was able to completely tie her up for additional protection so that she would never escape from him. The guy said that he was finally able to finish with all this and now he really likes him. The girl was tied up and hanging high and said that it was completely unpleasant for her to be tied up at such a height. The bird saw that the guy was doing some strange things and told this pervert to calm down immediately because he can already do something to this girl. The guy started asking what problems they had because he wanted to do everything much better, and they immediately thought about vulgarity. The guy said that in his understanding, divine judgment can activate the hidden powers of a person through danger and pain. 
he said that he doesn't know how much a girl can withstand. Therefore, he should check all this because he is not at all ready yet. He said that it was necessary to check the safest option so that everyone had a good chance of surviving. The bird that sat on his shoulder could not believe that he had ended up in these heavens so stupidly. He thought that he was somehow strange. He said that's exactly how he got there and she answered him right to the point. The bird understood that he was somehow strange, this is exactly how heavenly punishment should look in his eyes. The guy shouted that it was time to punish her and was ready to feel the majesty that was in his blood. He asked her if she was ready because he was already ready to start in order to find out how stable she was and whether she was ready to fight difficulties. The girl said that she was very scared, but she could endure it, because death would be much more dangerous for her. He said that it was simply excellent and with such an attitude you should always go into battle in order to win. He let go of her chain that was around her neck and was ready to do absolutely anything with it to test its quality. He released the rope into the forest and the girl fell down at incredible speed, realizing that now she could face death. The guy told her to give herself the divine wind, because she would be able to ascend on her own wind, which she could subdue. The girl landed on the ground and he said that he needed to do something. She didn't understand what he was doing and thought that she should just lie down. The guy began to bury her with sand and the girl felt ideal sensations. The bird said that she was about to die. The girl said that she was very calm underwater, so she already controls everything there. She really felt comfortable being in this place. The guy barely survived and shouted that they needed to move much faster because the current could kill them. The girl was crucified on the cross and the guy was already running out of ideas to check how stable she was. The bird said that this way the girl would definitely die and he would have no chance to find a new person later. The guy began to think why nothing works for him, because all this effect worked on him, but here it doesn't. The bird said that he had some very strange methods and also added that the guy just decided to test his childhood and lustful dreams on a safe girl. She said that she was really just useless and she should have died like those monsters wanted to do to her. The guy said that everything was fine and that the situation with her was simply not that simple. He told her to go and rest immediately and then he could prepare something else. He gave her time to go and rest, and the girl said that she could cook something tasty for them. While he was trying to find something new, the girl made an already incredible lunch that was supposed to saturate them with new strength and they could test something more dangerous. The bird was already able to turn into that girl and noticed that she already looked very pleased. The girl did not understand what was happening because her sparrow sister had just turned into a human. She screamed that she was no phoenix, she was not a sparrow. The girl who turned from a bird into a human said that she was somehow strange because the stranger was forcing her to do all sorts of things. The girl said that this is how it should be. After all, he saved her. She also replied that it is quite normal to obey the orders of the owner and there is nothing wrong with that. The other didn't understand at all why she obeyed him at all. She answered why she thinks so, because each of his demands puts her in mortal danger, this may be the last thing she does in her life. She replied that this was not the first time she had heard the order to go to her death, so it was completely normal for her if she had absolutely no chance to survive. The blonde looked at her and felt that the girl had really suffered a lot during all this time and had a very difficult past. She told her not to be afraid and even though it looks so dangerous, this guy won't let her die even in the worst moments. Suddenly she didn't understand what was happening and thought that this guy was doing all this only because he was a pervert. The girl who was already more experienced in this said that in every world talented gods are born, and the celestials become his assistants. At the very beginning of the creation of the worlds, the people of the ten thousand worlds were stupid and there was no cultivation in those days. People who sense the truth of the world learn special skills. And those who were able to do these skills best became legendary celestials. The girl realized that this was indeed the truth and that this was all divine judgment. She realized that everything they did was only for her benefit so that she would somehow become stronger. The girl answered that it is, and it looks strange and funny, but all these methods of entering the palaces of the celestials are working, but not only right away. They understood that the whole world was trying to find an answer so that this guy would really somehow calm down. Suddenly the guy could feel that it was already starting to rain and he had to change something for his daughter to stop. In fact, the guy was the legendary heavenly punishment who controlled all this and thanks to this everything changed. 
The guy shouted for the girls to follow him because this was a great chance to do what they had been trying for for several hours. But suddenly some strange things happened to the girl who was wearing a metal collar and her spiritual power rose much higher than usual. The girl felt somehow incredible and she could not control all the emotions she was experiencing. That is why Phoenix immediately flew away from there because he felt that bad things were happening there. It was necessary to do the legs. The bird shouted for the guy to be careful because this girl had become much more dangerous to his life than he could have ever imagined. She really was out of control. The guy felt that it seemed that two rages had been activated in this girl, which had belonged to her for a very long time since birth. He felt that most likely this thing had escaped from the body of that little girl who felt completely weak. The guy realized that it seemed to be true that she had been fighting with that dude with a spear for three sides. The bird said that these details were useless now. He understood that evil thoughts of delusion were mixed with all kinds of profits and in the process of ascending to immortality they would become more and more burdensome in the end. They devour all sensible thoughts, turning anger into something more like the fact that she becomes uncontrollable because of anger. The guy clapped and thanked the bird for explaining it all. The bird somehow reacted very strangely to this and asked how he didn't know this. After all, if he didn't know this, then he wouldn't be able to get an immortal soul. The guy said that he had never encountered this, but in any case everything would be fine and he just needed to do something. He knew that he had to break another third rune in order to perform one very cunning trick. The guy was able to teleport thanks to which he told his bird to wait for him just a little bit. The guy made an instant slowdown with the help of which he wanted to stop this incredible girl who did not want to do anything other than kill. And with the help of this scheme, he was able to really do very bad things to the girl, namely, to give her the feeling that she was getting everything a few seconds later. Because of this, he calmly dodged and she was not able to hit him even once. After that, he made the legendary first rune, with the help of which he got much closer to her and wanted to do something already. He said that now it is necessary to make a unification of the spirit, thanks to which he can make her a celestial being and calm the anger that was bursting at her. He activated the lightning for which he spent the first rune so that the girl really felt adequate. The bird watched all this and saw that the guy was even coping with this very well, considering he was new to this topic. The guy said that the problem had already been solved and I felt that he was much stronger than this girl. The bird answered him that the essence of evil spirits is outright energy that completely suppresses ordinary mortals and even some fighters. Suddenly the guy realized that she could not speak human language and it was very bad for everyone. After all, they would not be able to contact her. But the bird answered him that he was just very stupid, because this meant that this girl could not be defeated. The bird did not want to see him die because it was still too young. This girl was not adequate and she calmly dealt with a huge amount of everything that came to her hand. She was some kind of monster. The girl's strength was truly abnormal and everyone could not explain how she did it. She seemed to make herself even stronger and looked much better than before. The guy ran away on the floor and felt pain, and the girl who was a phoenix didn't know what she would do, because she was just doing one stupid thing, knowing that she herself couldn't change anything. The phoenix girl began to apologize because she knew about this for a long time but did not tell him so that he would not feel so much pain. The phoenix girl began to ask this abnormal woman about whether there would be more victims and was sure that everything would be fine. After all, she felt how everything was already ending. The girl said that now it would all end and pointed a spear at her with which she wanted to pierce her throat. The guy said that only immortals could fight this thing, which meant that he didn't have many chances, but he would try to do everything to win. Suddenly the girl looked around and realized that the guy was still ready to fight and this was not the last trick he hit up his sleeve. The two girls felt some powerful charge of energy that came straight from this guy who did not want to give up just as if he had nothing. The guy was ready to fight and said that he was just an imposter who doesn't know how to ascend and doesn't even have an immortal body and has an incredible fighting spirit. The girl felt that the guy would not give up just like that and told him that if he really wants this, then now there will be a battle in which he will die. He was able to activate his appearance and was ready to kick her ass because now he is ready to fully show all his powers that he trained. The girl was ready to fight because she understood that she couldn't lose in this match. After all, if she does this, then she will never be the same. And the guy also didn't want to give up and felt that this battle would really be intense. The girl began to worry a lot because she didn't even understand who could do this, 
and it was clear in her eyes that she was interested in this battle. The guy pushed off the ground to show this very young and untalented girl that she was not worthy to fight him. He was much more experienced and stronger in battle. He calmly began to fight against her and wanted to attack so that she would understand that this was her last battle. The girl tried to repel this attack, but felt that she was not succeeding at all due to the fact that his kick would be much stronger. He activated the forces of nature which turns into the spirit of reason and takes on an incredible form. The girl really noticed that the guy was very strong in battle and she would have a very hard time fighting against him. But still, she took her spear to show him that she was ready to fight back and this was not their last battle. She was able to throw an incredible wave at him from which he had to fight back so that it would be almost impossible because she did it incredibly quickly. He was able to repel her due to the fact that he had a magnificent body and also an immortal soul that became a warrior. The girl felt that this battle would be very tense and she would not be able to win just like that. Therefore, she had to play with cunning. That's why she jumped up to give him an incredible blow from behind that he wouldn't be able to read. There was a fire in her eyes and she wanted to kill him because she felt that if she didn't do this, she herself would end up in the victim's place. The girl who was a phoenix watched all this and did not understand how this still existed and why it was not banned. She activated some incredible power that controlled the spear, which was aimed exactly at the guy. The guy understood that because of the great obsession, great power arose this heavenly martial soul, and he calmly batted away this spear with his hand. Thanks to this, he gained even more strength and wanted to take revenge because she thought that she could so easily fool him around her finger. Therefore, he dealt her an instant blow to the head, which she could not fight off due to the fact that she was much weaker and was also a woman. He understood that the whole world, which had long ago left the heavenly path, seemed to respond to his presence and help him fight in this incredible battle. As if in a single frenzy of heaven and earth, he tried to fight against her and also fulfill his entire long-awaited mission. The guy wanted to beat her to the end so that she would feel that she was also much weaker than he expected from her ability. This is the blow that he was able to inflict on her and was called heavenly punishment, which everyone was talking about throughout this entire story. Thanks to this, an incredible explosion was formed that was able to touch everything around and form a crater. The guy felt victory in his arms and realized that the girl had lost because she was lying exhausted in the water. The phoenix girl noticed that this girl was now completely without strength and she had no control over what was happening to her. Everyone knew that the only hope for saving the damned one was that he could tell him this himself. Therefore, the girl activated the power so that he really understood that he would have to survive because she was not ready to give him death. Thanks to her strength, she asked that this stone could die with her. After all, she did not want to continue all these actions further. After a few seconds, he fell and began to color everything that was nearby thanks to his blood that came from his head. The guy was happy and said that this battle of immortal souls was even better than he thought. He really liked what happened to him just recently. The guy noticed how the girl began to activate some kind of huge ball and he continued to wonder what it was. He asked the girl what it was and why she was doing it because he wanted to fully understand what the essence of this thing was. She got angry and asked why he was still alive. She said that he had just been almost cut in half and should have been dead by now. He said that even if he is not immortal, he still has some medical skills that she, it turns out, didn't know about yet. The girl said that this was done early by a demon and no spells from a mere mortal could be cast on her. The guy laughed at her and understood that she was still completely inexperienced and knew little about all this. The girl was in love with him and didn't understand who he really was, because he really was able to do incredible things. The guy asked her why she still doesn't know who he really is, because a lot of time has passed and she could have guessed. The guy said that he was the last cultivator of this world who vowed to become immortal no matter what. For this reason, he is not afraid to restore the palaces of the celestials, and it is for this reason that he is trying to make this world a better place. He raised this girl because he saw that eating was not at all good and he had to do everything to keep her in the game. He began to touch her and said that nothing seemed to have changed, although he understood that most likely she was hurt. The bird began to attack him and said that it was over, which began to touch the unconscious girl, and the guy said that he only wanted to check her very important aspects of life. After they continued to quarrel, the girl opened her eyes and noticed that she remained alive, although it seemed that she was already dead. The girl asked them how she left because she thought that after such a battle she would not have a single chance to stay alive. 
The guy was glad that the girl had finally capsized and now she could talk to him normally. After all, he was already afraid that she would die. After that, they lit a fire to fully discuss all this and see this situation was really very strange. The guy started looking at some book and realized that there were no noticeable changes in density, he did not feel any aura in the body of this girl. He understood that the obvious one had not even gone through the most banal stages and her threshold had been cleared. He didn't understand why it still didn't work. The bird continued to sleep in one place with him, and the guy began to pull it away from her so that she would finally wake up. The bird started screaming and the guy asked why she didn't listen to him because he wanted to discuss something important with her. The girl was very offended that he treated the bird this way and felt that she was really to blame because she had missed a lot. The guy said that now everything is fine and he has already said that such things as cultivating immortality are very difficult, so failing is the norm. So the girl said that she loves you very much and did not want to lose again because this feeling had already overwhelmed her not for the first time. The guy looked into her eyes and wanted to understand why she felt so bad, because it was just a warm-up that needed to be understood and counted on. The guy said that he had already noticed that she was able to remember all this and now he was really not very pleased after he held her breasts. The girl said that it was like some kind of dream and she saw it all very clearly. She also added that all sorts of good thoughts came into her head and she understood that it was even impossible to kill something like that. The guy asked is it a bad feeling when you control your own spirit? After all, this is how you become practically invulnerable. The guy said that these were excellent results. Therefore, they had to try again so that they could completely fix it all to perfection. The bird got very angry and told him not to talk nonsense. After all, if he did this, she would have to lie on the ground again, almost half dead. He replied that it was just an accident and that it wouldn't happen again. After all, they had already become much more experienced. He said that now he is completely comfortable with his powers and he understands that he has become practically invulnerable due to the fact that he trained a lot before. He replied that this spirit was able to fight it all off and this time he would try to hit him with a direct blow from the thunder grab. She replied that she would work on it. Everything was fine, but they forgot that they were still being attacked by the very people who were holding this girl. They fired in order to attack them. They said that the foxes had already been found and it was necessary to use arrows in order to bring them back because it was the king's order. The guy said that he was very impressed that they were able to find them so quickly and now he can really have fun with them. But the bird replied that this is not at all good, they need to get out of here because otherwise they will become victims who simply cannot be saved later. The guy told her to calm down because these were just a few soldiers and he could knock them out in just one fell swoop. The bird replied that he was in bad condition. She said that if he let them get too close, something would go wrong and it was always necessary to choose the best options on how to escape. But after he activated this power, they began to feel pain due to the fact that the energy passed completely through their bodies. The girl did not understand where all these warriors had disappeared, because just recently she had seen how they were with them and were ready to kill them. The girl began to worry very much. I don't understand that if lightning could hit her in the same way, she would die along with them. He said that he didn't want to do it at all and they were the first to start, so he had no choice. The guy felt somehow very awkward after what he did. He explained that a mortal's mind dissipates and his spirit becomes strange as soon as he enters the area of effect. This leads to the fact that the power of heavenly punishment becomes much stronger and the difficulty of passing through itself increases significantly. He also said that now it is very difficult to talk about whether this little girl will be able to pass a stronger heavenly test, and he very much doubts that her body will be able to withstand it. The guy, of course, tried to explain all this to her, but it was as if he was talking to himself, because he noticed that the girl was not listening to him at all. Then he realized that he needed to ask something because he wanted to find out whether there were circumstances under which the spirit could not be purified. He also wanted to know if he was able to completely cleanse it. After all, he had suspicions that he had not succeeded. The bird said that if it cannot be cleared, it is most likely possession and therefore they have very bad news. Everyone knew that spirits of rage are a manifestation of various bad thoughts that have accumulated over the years. They usually disappear completely during a cataclysm. But if the practitioner himself has not very good emotions that are strong and cannot be released, then he imposes a bunch of bad ideas.
Typically, cultivators clear their minds of karma and even undergo special spiritual practices to tune their minds before taking the final step. And the girl began to apologize. The guy realized that they need to improve her mood, thanks to this she will be able to become much better and her evil spirit will disappear. After that, they had to go to a distant city that I did not decide to go to with a divine sacrament, as well as a talisman. The girl asked if the gentleman wanted her to change into this style of clothing. After all, she looked simply incredibly beautiful and stunning. The guy said that the pill cures all diseases and clothes solve 1000 sorrows and the easiest way to make a girl happy is to go and buy her something. He realized that, nevertheless, these clothes do not look cheap and if he has money, he can buy them. The bird laughed at them and said that he really wouldn't buy it. The guy said that she would pay for her own clothes because he didn't want to spend extra money. And after that they teleported back to the forest and where they did not spend all their time. The guy noticed that she was still not happy and nothing had changed with her at all. He said that there was no problem that he couldn't solve, so he decided to eat to relax. And the girl ate for the first time on the street and she didn't know that this was even possible because she had never tried such food before. The girl was very tired, the guy suggested just cooking a barbecue and everything else had no effect on her for the umpteenth time. They climbed the mountain because he understood that everything needed to be done to make her happy and he wanted to cheer her up. He said that he would need to do a free fall, and the girl asked him back because she was very worried about all this. But suddenly she realized that this guy's spirit could save her in any bad situation, so they didn't need to worry. The girl fell down and he complained that it didn't matter. So far nothing was working and they would still try to do it because he was very angry. After that, they went to rest because he didn't understand what was happening and wanted to sort it out quickly. He said that he would have to use his best habit to at least affect the speed of his cultivation, but if it is for the sake of ascension to heaven, then this must be done. The bird scolded him and told him to send the dogs away because he wanted to do very immoral things to her. The guy was sitting very upset because he understood that everything that could make a person happy was already there. He didn't understand why it didn't work for him, and the girl was looking at some scene where something had already been drawn. The guy said that most likely with this girl that you are like that and the bird answered him that there is something wrong with him because the girl is not to blame for anything. It turns out that what the girl was looking at was a wanted poster for these two who had done a very bad thing. The girl began to worry very much about her family, because the guy didn't pay attention to this at all when he stole her. Meanwhile, in this palace there was a huge number of guards who were supposed to punish these two and also take them away from here wherever possible. The guy came with this girl to see if everything was okay with her family. She was very worried about them. The girl started hugging her family and her mother also came out and said that she was very grateful to him for saving her daughter. Because everything is fine, I can't call him by name because he didn't do anything that would be unrealistic. Well, a little time and he stayed with them in the palace to celebrate the fact that he was able to save this girl from the death penalty. It turns out that this family was very large. And the eldest girl of them all said that they were all adopted and that's how there were so many. And the guy said that if this is the same gentleman who is raising a righteous daughter, then he needs to meet him and talk. The girl said that her father was accepted into the service of the palace by the king. Even she told him that he would be able to talk to him only tomorrow. Meanwhile, it had already become very dark and they were preparing to go to bed to rest. He said that even in this ancient world, rich people know how to have fun and he liked to be there. She said that most likely she doesn't want to get better because her family and just her life are ideal. The guy wiped himself and said that he couldn't understand who. How family could be so important to her and why she couldn't become one of them. The guy didn't understand what was happening and turned to see who it was. He looked around and realized that it was their turn to use this particular room. Therefore, he needed to vacate it. The girls were very beautiful and curvy. They said that if he doesn't mind, they will spend this night with him. The guy began to stutter because he saw how beautiful the girls were and he did not believe that they would now swim with him. She said that they were completely at his disposal and he could do whatever he wanted with them. The guy asked whether it was necessary or whether to arrange such a reception because he didn't really want to start with everyone like that right away. The girl told him not to be modest, if they have a dear guest like him, she, like a proper daughter, should organize a cordial reception. The guy asked the bird if it should be like this and began to cover it so that it could not see anything at all. 
The girls said that if he liked some other sister, they could bring him if he wanted it. Another said that while swimming it is better not to get out of here because it is very cold here and then run back and forth. The guy didn't understand why the righteous daughter of the prime minister was doing such strange things. She replied that in this world it is difficult for people to survive, fate gave them an excellent chance to be a distant rich family, so they do everything to fulfill their duty. She also said that she would serve the guests, serve dinner and get a gift for a rich man. This is the last thing they could do. The guy understood that most likely this girl was simply yearning for such a family where she was given such strange tasks. The younger one asked him if he had a crush on the little sister he brought. After all, everything is possible and most likely it could be love at first sight. The eldest daughter said that if he really wanted it that way, then unfortunately she couldn't do it because there were very huge arguments for this. She said that her father always raised her as the emperor's wife and prepared her as a gift to the palace, so she cannot serve clients. However, the emperor can no longer do it and her path to the palace is closed. And that is why her father sent her to that battle. The younger one said that if he wants to enter the residence and become a client, then he has every chance. He thanked us for such a great reception. The girl said that they cannot make a decision about this. Besides, she now has to follow the family rules. He began to understand that most likely it was carrying out some kind of punishment, or rather a punishment for not completing the task. They beat her with a special thing and she didn't say a word so as not to make a squeak. The girl had huge scars on her back. Her sisters replied that she still failed the task given to her by her father, so she would have to carry out the punishment. It was already very dark and she was able to carry out this heavy punishment for which they began to respect her very much. The girl asked if the punishment was over because she wanted to know if her older sister had done everything. She told her not to move, and even though she removed the splinters, scars might remain if the ointment was not applied. The youngest didn't have to ask if she had let the family down this time, because she wanted to know if everything had already been done. The sister replied that of course the whole residence was turned upside down. And even after that, my father began to come home very rarely, which was sad. The older sister told her not to worry about it because the most important thing was that she was able to return alive. She closed her cosmetic bag and said that she had already suffered the punishment, so she needed to go to bed early today. The older sister also suggested that we stay with her to sleep today, like in childhood. She wanted this very badly. Some strange splashes of ointment lay on the floor after they finished such pleasant procedures. The girl noticed that someone had come to them. After all, they wouldn't just take it. The older sister said that the girl he saved could not be his for the night. The guy met them and the older girl said that she would not bother them during this time. The guy came to rest after a heavy bath and the girl started asking him something. The elder sister watched all this, she was very pleased that at least someone truly loved her sister. She also said that before the father gives consent to their marriage, nothing strange should be done. The guy told them not to worry. The guy went outside to see how beautiful the world he found himself in was. He said that he doesn't even know what their world is like. Therefore, he has no right to condemn anything or change anything. But judging by the way she treats her family, she most likely loves them very much. He could feel it with all his heart. The girl replied that she loved her family very much and therefore she was ready to leave everything for her well-being. He asked her why she didn't and all these problems were solved. The girl replied that she still had some kind of anxiety inside her and continued to feel some strange emotions. The guy understood that he needed to decide everything himself and told them to follow him because now they would go somewhere. The girl asked where he wanted to go at such a late time. After all, everyone had already gone to bed to rest and get enough sleep for the new day. He answered briefly just one word with burning eyes, that he was going to kill. The guy decided to punish the emperor for what he did to this girl and therefore wanted his guards to stop them. He finally saw the legendary emperor's palace and it looks very big. He also asked her the emperor himself was. The girl said that after the massacre of the army of three cities, the emperor was afraid of being killed and therefore he could not fall asleep at night for a long time. The workers noticed that these were the ones they had been looking for and hunting for a very long time, and now he himself had climbed into their noose, so they brought him down in a second. One of the strongest fighters was told to take it and walk and not make another defeat in which they would lose their prey. 
The girl told him to be careful because he is one of the most powerful warriors of the elite squad and only emperors follow him. The guy said that there's nothing wrong with that and the main thing is to choose the right place and everything will be fine. He activated the first talisman, which was called the Focus of Souls, and with the help of them, he wanted to show them what he was capable of. He activated lightning with which he was able to smash everyone who was at the initial stage of the palace. With such strength, he is practically unstoppable. The girl said that they were going to enter quietly, but now they would have to fight since the guards had already noticed them. The guy said that everything is fine because all the guards have been announced and no one will be able to report, and also if someone saw them, it will take them a very long time to get there. The girl was glad that he was finally able to develop some kind of brilliant plan with the help of which they could do incredible things. He noticed how that same phoenix bird began to return to them. After all, they were already very tired of waiting for it. She gave him a side blow so that he could feel it so that he would not relax, because he did not warn her at all and ran away somewhere. She only graduated from school for a short time and he had already created some kind of chaos. Therefore, it was necessary to punish him for the things that he did. He said that nothing could be done because they only wanted to do a quiet task, but unfortunately they didn't succeed. The girl began to apologize and said that her adoptive father raised her, and even more so if she does not complete this task, then one of the sisters will have to do it. The bird hit him again and said that he shouldn't help her, because if he wanted to be a celestial being, then he should not interfere in people's affairs. The guy said that he didn't intend to kill anyone, he just wanted to help her open the gate, but now he won't do anything. The bird again said that this is not the point and we can say that he is now a very bad person because he was able to get into people's affairs. She explained to him that if he does this, he risks being noticed, and when his demon is injured, it directly affects his body. The guy noticed that he was really hurt. Therefore, he needed to do something to return his aura to its previous form. The girl said that she was harming them. Therefore, it is better for her to handle it herself, and as soon as she completes the task, she will immediately find them. Meanwhile, the guards were already moving towards the gate. After all, they nevertheless noticed that some kind of very strong explosion had occurred there. The guy said that initially she wanted to calculate it to give her the opportunity to feel victory and enter there as a queen. However, now it won't work out that way and therefore she will still have to fight in order to complete this mission to the end. He said that he needed to do this quickly and activated some kind of superpower thanks to which he was able to do something. Meanwhile, in this palace the kings were resting and the emperor believed that something needed to be done about it. An ordinary servant said that they were on the trail of this man, but he couldn't stop and they couldn't catch him. The advisor ordered that this guy be accepted into her team because he did an incredible thing and risked his life to save the girl. The emperor ordered that he simply be killed because he did not care what would happen next. Everyone was surprised because people knew that the emperor loved to take talented people and raise them for himself. The emperor ordered that a military camp be brought here because it was necessary to surround and kill the criminal. He wanted to do it immediately. He said that compared to the greatness of the emperor, any capable person was simply destroyed. Everyone understood that this was really true and no one could contradict the emperor. They bowed to him and said that now everything would be done immediately because they understood that they had to listen to the emperor. The emperor also heard some noise starting to happen outside and this began to make him very nervous. The others also heard and were surprised. What kind of sounds were coming from the guards had already completely rushed to this place to sort it out. They didn't understand what suddenly happened and why it became so light there, after all, it was already night, everyone wanted to go to bed. Meanwhile, incredible battles took place there with the help of which the guy gave the girl an incredible chance to take revenge on the emperor. Nevertheless, incredible explosions began to occur there, which the guy organized in order to give the girl this chance. All the workers were very afraid and they fell down because they understood what had happened. They couldn't control the situation because they were weak. He activated the talisman, which had the third number, and also used it to make a lightning-fast fiery explosion. The guy said that he was just escorting this girl inside and why did they all have such a strange reaction. He wanted to take revenge on the emperor together with the girl. The guy said that these simple arrows seemed to be enchanted and even they could not pierce him despite the spirit armor spell. The bird began to get very nervous because she understood that he didn't understand at all what was happening, you could have an incredible explosion now, 
after he did such bad things. She told him that if he continued like this they would attack with more force because the law was on their side. The girl said that she would do everything herself from now on, and it was enough for her that he risked his life very much. The guy told her to grab him immediately because he wanted to do an incredible trick with which everything would be much easier. She said that she would definitely do this, otherwise she would hug him as if he were her boyfriend. He began to move forward to protect the girl because the arrows attacked them very strongly and there was a high chance that she would get hurt. Before them will be the very spirit that the guy had, with the help of it he controlled all his capabilities that he could do if he wanted. He said that this is just great. And now I won't be able to do it in one go to get to the emperor. He shouted that he needed to break through or move towards this wall, which was located precisely in the imperial palace. The rest of the emperor's stronger guards could not understand how he was able to get here because there was a huge number of guards there. The emperor sat and looked at some magazine because he didn't care about what was happening because he was confident in his army. The more important commander shouted for the guards to protect the emperor, because otherwise they would have suffered greatly along with the master himself. They were able to build incredible shields that were supposed to protect the emperor because it was their mission that they had to fulfill. The guard said that they had no time to play with them, so now he would have to use brute force. The guy shouted for them to move out of the way and activated his superpower, which was called the first soul focus talisman. What if he noticed that there was a huge dragon that stood behind these accounts and therefore it would be very difficult for him to resist it. All these two superpowers began to fight against each other and it was clear how difficult it was for both sides. The guards calmly repelled his attack, although they felt that the shields would soon break and would not withstand such force. The guy realized that he would have to fight against them in a much more interesting way, so he got even angrier. The workers shouted that they needed to grab him while he was exhausted because now was the best moment for them to understand him. They ran to surround him, and the guy stood as if he had no strength and hugged this girl. And people didn't understand how he even decided to come here on his own, because it's tantamount to saying that you just wanted to die. The emperor ordered his hands to be cut off and handed over to the administration of the forbidden part of the city. It was already too late. After all, the guy got angry and rose up to kill this emperor who wanted to pump the girl. Thanks to this power, he wanted to throw away all the emperor's defenders and hoped that he would go out to a private fight with the girl. He would be very tired and would say that she needs to act on her own now because he has no further right to interfere in such matters. The girl was ready for this more than ever because this was the main mission in her life. The guards shouted that they needed to protect the emperor, no matter what it cost them. After all, if they had to die, they did it for a reason. The girl was ready to strike because she had endured all this time while she was on the chain. She wanted to finally prove to them that she was better than this emperor. Thanks to her technique, she shouted that she would strike now and with her huge legs she wanted to do it. The emperor could not understand how she even dared to do this again. After all, before he could have killed her, but he simply gave her a life sentence of being on chains. That is why the emperor took his sword to tell this girl that she was completely wrong and sent her to die. It was already too late, because she threw her spear which flew perfectly at the emperor. She shouted at him to be so kind and die right now, otherwise she would have to do it again. The spear was already next to his body and was ready to pierce right through his throat. The girl wanted to do it, but suddenly something happened. The emperor said that the spear is like a swan and thousands of warriors cannot compare with her strength. She was really very good. He also said that she, loyal to the very end, broke into the palace in the middle of the night and really wanted to kill him. He said that it was even very brave of her and even though she is already a girl, she has a warrior spirit. And her father said that he did not deserve these praises because the emperor began to praise him that he raised an ideal daughter. The girl saw her father and was shocked because she thought that he had died a long time ago and would never accept her again. Her father told her to put away her spear immediately because he didn't want the emperor to be dead. The girl said that if he was kept here against his will, then she would be able to save him and they would not be able to keep them until the end father most likely for her to close her mouth and put away the spear because it was simply ugly on her part because she wanted to take the life of the emperor. The girl asked him why she had to do this because she didn't understand because all the time she was told that the emperor was an evil man. The emperor said that he had always been his man and that is why his father simply betrayed her. He also said that the transfer of the throne is an important event, I did not conquer the sky, but I did not conquer the hearts of people.
Since then, local families simply abandoned it and did not want to continue to deal with it. Also, her father said that if his old recharge man killed the emperor, his majesty cannot take care of the former and can be entrusted with doing which will certainly conquer the sky. The emperor also said that her father was already from the previous dynasty and he led retribution and this is still considered devotion. In the heart of the emperor, the sun and the moon in the heart of the emperor, people would shout exactly like that, say all the wars that obeyed the emperor. After all, they considered him the best. The guy said that they just staged this performance because an eternity had already passed. He realized that most likely he was also at the same time for those who were also involved in the murder. It was a very dirty game. However, now this girl seems to have no affection left and can easily become a celestial. He said that if this is really true, then this is simply wonderful. After all, he already wanted to leave here immediately. They kept talking about how wise the emperor was, and the girl stood there and couldn't believe that her father had really betrayed her. Still, she could not stand it and launched a spear in order to finish off this emperor. He fought back with a spear and said that he was already satisfied with these games. I need to grab them and give them poisoned wine to drink so that their bodies remain unharmed. The security grabbed them and the guy calmly thought about what he should do next. He didn't like dying in such an environment at all. The emperor also said that her father is a respected official and they generously appreciate his talent, but he was also an assassin, so he should also be killed. The father said that the emperor really liked her battle in the palace and therefore it was really very important for him that she made an important choice. The girl began to cry, I said that she would not want to get into history because she was not at all ready to die for such things. The workers carried her special things to calm her down, and her father watched as she suffered. She shouted that she was lucky that her daughter had a father and was lucky to live with her whole family. She really didn't want to die, but the emperor left no choice. And she remembered the moment when and sometimes it is difficult and tiring, but she still believes that she has lived the happiest life. She also said that she was ready to repay for this happiness and was ready to give everything for this. Her father gave her poisoned wine and told her to follow the order immediately. The guy had a huge number of swords and this meant that he, too, would be ready to die now. The girl asked the gentleman if he could leave at any moment, because she hoped that he would not get hurt and would leave this life. The guy replied that this is not a problem at all, if she wants, she can leave with him. The girl replied that then she was calm. The girl said that she was very sorry and that she would not be able to become a celestial being with him. After all, this stupid girl drank wine in order to show her devotion and die in front of their eyes. The girl fell to the ground in these wines, which was very dangerous for her life because there was a strong concentrate. She said that at least this way she could continue her happy life. She believed that she would be much better in heaven than in this life. The emperor said that you can't just leave these daughters because they are all the same and they all have only one thing on their mind. The father said that he dared to report to the emperor so that his skills and abilities could not be compared with his daughter. The father said that tomorrow their subjects would cut off their heir with the words of a brothel as prostitutes for officials. The girl was shocked. The bird told him to leave. After all, he had already greatly influenced this. Therefore, it was necessary to do his feet immediately. The guy said that the human world has its own laws, problems of good and evil, and they should not be decided by the celestials. He knew that an immortal and people are different, and the greater the power similar to the power of immortals, the stronger the problem. But also than disgusting, dishonorable things, you can turn heaven and earth and take strong revenge for everything they have done. He activated his superpower to punish them for the things they did. The guy said that I am not so free with me, he will still show him that they were completely wrong with this girl. He hit her father and said that he did not deserve to exist because it was just a mocking relationship with his daughter. The guy calmly hit her father and he felt incredible pain due to the fact that he was very guilty. The girl began to worry very much because it was, after all, her father, although not her own, but he gave her everything. The emperor would be very angry and tell his army to grab every one of these enemies who must be killed immediately. After all, they have committed a crime. They accepted his order and were ready to kill them because what they did was simply prohibited by law. The guy understood that now he would have to fight even harder and he ran after the girl to save her life because he did not want her to be dead. 
he activated a stream of wind with which he wanted to repel absolutely all the arrows that were flying from crossbows. The girl began to worry very much about her family, which would suffer greatly due to the fact that her father was now gone. The guy replied that although everyone has their own life and a stranger should not point and instruct, he still had to tell her something. He replied that her family would be much better off without such a traitor who almost betrayed them. The girl understood that he was telling the truth, it was very painful for her to realize such truthful words. He kicked her and activated an incredible ability and also shouted for her to move forward. The guy noticed that now he would have to fight against a strong opponent because the emperor was very arrogant and had incredible troops. The warrior said that now he must accept punishment for what he did to one of the most important people of this place. The guy activated a spell called Focus of Souls, because thanks to it, he wanted to provoke everything back to this person. It was very difficult for him to control this because he suffered very much while saving this girl. He shouted that it was already too late and wanted to cut down the ball to the enemy who actually attacked the emperor himself. And his strength was very great and he told the guy to ask for forgiveness from the emperor because what he did was simply illegal. The guy didn't understand how the general could be so strong. After all, he had never had to fight fighters like him before. He answered that fate is a completely unfair joke. Therefore, he needs to get together and punish them because they are really guilty. She told him that if he thought that there was a connection between the heavens, he was very much mistaken. He also understood that this girl would not be able to withstand such bad consequences after this battle. He understood that she could very soon be poisoned and therefore it was necessary to do something with her so that she would remain alive. The emperor told his warrior to listen to his orders because he had to kill the enemies and chop them into pieces. The guy said they couldn't even keep him here because he was just elusive. He considered them ordinary show-offs. The guy said that now he would probably be too rude, but he had no other choice and he grabbed the girl by the chain. He told her that he believed that she would still be able to survive and hoped that some miracle would happen to her. The bird noticed that he was ready to open the heavenly card. Although it was very stupid and risky because after that there would be a very bad punishment. The guy could not be stopped and he understood that this emperor was simply an inhuman tyrant. Therefore, he needed to do what he deserved. He activated the heavenly Karla and all the wars did not understand what was happening. They thought that God had finally come to punish them. The guy replied that for this the heavens were filled with complete disgust and now he will fully pay for what he did. He brought some incredible thunder down to punish all those who were involved in this because he didn't like what they were doing at all. The power was simply incredible and a huge fireball began to fly at incredible speed. And all the soldiers asked to be spared. After all, they did not want to die such a painful death. They asked to be pardoned because they were not at all to blame for the fact that their emperor was a goat. The emperor himself could barely withstand these blows and understood that most likely it would be that same legendary celestial being. Although they did not believe in it, the guy said that now they need to accept divine punishment. After all, they have long deserved it. This powerful force began to destroy everything around and it was already very late. Absolutely everything started to burn, as if this was how it should have been because the guy wanted to punish the emperor for his actions. The girl could not believe that it was all because of her and she did not at all expect that everything would be like this. She wanted everything completely different. The guy said that most likely he overdid it a little, but he didn't want to bring things to such lengths. He said that in fact he is categorically against human intervention, but here it had to be done. He said that if an ordinary person wants to kill him, naturally he will be able to fight back, or if he sees injustice, he will still intervene to remove it. He explained that the difference in strength between celestials and humans is too great. If you are careless, you can create incredible problems from which you simply will not have time to save yourself. The girl watched as this fire began to destroy it all and was very scared of what would happen to her beloved father. He replied that he thought that everything would be restored soon. And this is quite the opposite, good. After all, they will start a new life. He replied that he also needed to say the words that he had long wanted to say about this tyrant. People shouted that the gods had punished the titan. He said that he could not even imagine that the rulers would become better after this, but at least it would make them think carefully before doing anything. The guy shouted for everyone to raise their heads because there are gods in heaven after all. Therefore, it was necessary to believe in them because without gods there would be no existence of humanity. 
the bird got very angry with him and gave him another blow, saying that he simply had no right to say such a thing because too much had already been said. The bird continued to kill him and said that he had killed a bunch of people, and even if he managed to kill the worst ones, the rest of the people would still suffer. He began to ask this bird if she knew how much effort he put into this, because he really worked very hard to become what he has now become. The two began to argue, who would be able to withstand such a powerful blow because it was truly simply impossible to repel it. The guy asked what else he could have done, because they would have simply killed him. The girl replied that she was completely fine and she understood that this person would like to make her much better and not harm her. The guy finally grabbed this bird and felt that it really punished him very much. He said that he left the cultivation technique in her house when he left. Thanks to her, they can become much smarter and also stronger. He said that although the practice methods are quite chaotic, their advantages are that they are simple and reliable. He also said that moreover, as practitioners of immortality, they will accept students and help them practice from childhood, thanks to this there will be many more people like him. The guy said that he had never been online, I don't know what it's like, but he believes that this place can become even more cozy and warm. The girl started asking him why he did it because she didn't really want it to happen. The guy asked her if these were not the thoughts that she wanted her relatives to receive. He told her to look at why so many people were sent to the next world. He explained that her evil thoughts had become much stronger. He also said that earlier they had already contacted her spirit and the power supporting the immortality of her spirit disappeared. She suddenly began to realize that she really had very bad thoughts that needed to be thrown out. They said that she noticed everything correctly and this girl became much smarter and also more experienced. He said that now we need to use heavenly punishment to finally cleanse them. He knew that if they did this, then absolutely all evil thoughts would leave her and she would become as before. He also promised her that thanks to this her spirit would be immortal. I would be a resident and thanks to this it would be the same as him. The girl felt some very strong pain inside and it was unpleasant for her after he tried to expel her spirit. The guy didn't understand what he was doing. And the bird said that her body could not withstand such a strong heavenly card. The girl said that she was most likely fine, but continued to belch blood because she understood that she would have already died twice if not for it. Suddenly she noticed how the front one turned out to be some kind of huge spear and she didn't know what to do with it. The guy replied that in childhood, heavenly punishment consists of purifying the so-called bad ideas of the evil spirit, and divine judgment helps to get rid of them. He told her that her task was actually very simple and she needed to control what she would do. He ordered her to defeat him, although it was almost impossible because he was much more experienced and strong than her. The girl said that she would obey the order and was ready to fight against him because she knew that she could do it. The guy flew up together with the girl and they wanted to start a battle because she had to defeat him on his orders. The guy felt very naked and understood that this would be a really good battle where he found an opponent. The girl tried to do something to him, but he calmly pressed two fingers on her forehead and she was covered in energy. It was a truly difficult battle and his spirit was trying to deal with the girl's spirit one on one. The girl felt incredible pain and realized that she too could die. The girl was glad that they had finally finished because it was unpleasant for her to feel how her spirit was suffering very much due to the fact that he was punishing her. Then she felt like her obsession simply disappeared somewhere, as if a mountain had flown off her shoulders. The guy replied that the evil spirit had finally been completely cleansed and he himself felt that he had disappeared somewhere. He also said that some powerful force had appeared in this world called the gates of heaven. After all, they would lift up her soul. The bird began to rejoice very much because the energy of the heavenly palace was reunited again, and it turns out that his stupidity was able to work again. The guy replied that heavenly laws can still be changed and he can even do it. The bird replied that it was unknown how he broke into a palace full of people and then he himself fell under the distribution of heavenly thunder. The girl began to ask him what was behind these gates because she thought that there were truly incredible new opportunities for her life. The guy replied that theoretically it is so, but now there is only him and this bird and there are only ruins inside. He said that something needs to be restored there and that is why he is looking for people so that they can help him and together I could not do something for which there would be a chance of restoration. The girl finally understood what the problem was with all his ideas and why he decided to gather new people in the first place. She said that it turns out that in each world, having reunited with the heavenly ones, there will be the same people as in the ordinary world who receive more privileges. 
he said that he had very little experience and the situation was not the best. That's why he only managed to do it this way. She also said that in fact, in most cases, mortals cope with their affairs quite well and do not need any gods at all, but sometimes problems occur. He said that the responsibility for maintaining heavenly laws rests with these celestial beings who must maintain order and control it. The girl said that it even sounded very good and she even liked the fact that he had such a huge chance to become one of them. She said that it would be great if she could participate in such a thing. She was very sorry because she thought that she couldn't. The guy began to apologize to her, after all, he said that in the end they were not at all higher, although they hoped that she would become the same. The guy began to activate the portal along with the bird, which turned into a girl, and realized that this girl was not a true cultivator. He also understands that although she was not able to build successfully, they restored the flow of energy with one world and now there are small results. He said that it was time for him to go home, and the girl didn't understand why he wanted to return to the mortal world. Although it would be just stupid because he would have to move all the time. The guy said that he had already rented an apartment before the ascension and man, you can't live in such places. Therefore, he needs to go to good places. The guy also said that she probably also wants to be alone a little because they already spent a lot of time while they were together. The girl felt some unpleasant sensations and realized that he really was able to notice it. The guy said that it was very natural and he realized that it really worked. So he still has to leave this place. He said that earlier she had to explain that she couldn't just descend into the mortal world. Therefore, he needed to get some kind of business. He started to move back to where he rented his apartment and take a shower. It was a very difficult day, and while he was in his soul, he began to wonder why he became immortal at all and was pleased that he had some privileges. He understood that he wanted to rule this and restore heavenly laws. Although he understood that this girl would not be his. He understood that due to the fact that he intervened in this, many were very seriously injured due to his inexperience. And he began to think about what he should do next. After all, because he intervened, he changed a lot because of. As it turned out, this same girl was with him and she asked him one very important thing. She lay in bed with him and began to ask if these were the same heavenly palaces. Most likely they slept together. He was in shock because he didn't understand how she ended up with him because he thought that she was already dead. The girl was completely naked and started asking where they were because she didn't understand why everything was so strange here. He began to touch its latches and began to understand that some very strange things were happening here. He understood that other parts of the body were the same to the touch, but the girl could not understand what was happening. He tried to understand what the verdict and checks were. The guy realized that this would be the same spirit of the deceased celestial being. He knew that even though her spirit was able to recreate the body, however, she herself still did not seem to realize everything. As it turned out, when during the divine judgment of the body the cultivator undergoes serious destruction, it cannot withstand very strange things. He understood that since she had ascended, it was wise to stay close to her after this. He understood that judging by the situation, she was probably able to temporarily capture it and the girl could not be transported there, which is why she ended up with him. He knew that even though he could be transported there with this girl, however, he shouldn't do that, because now it's better not to bother the girl. She was wearing a shirt and didn't understand why the guy was thinking so hard about something and couldn't pay attention to her at all. The guy replied that she should live with him for now and then he could take her to the palace where they would live together. He said that she was very cool and she had the will to win, the girl said that she was very happy to hear such words from him. The guy said that this was even very good and he had already learned everything about himself, but her experience was simply unrealistically important for his discoveries. He said that he wanted to study it, but the girl could not understand what he was talking about. The guy said that ours would really be a very long one and they would do very interesting things. The girl said that she completely agreed. Morning had already come and the new day was even more interesting than the old one. He needed to go upstairs again. He was braided as usual and turned on the burner to prepare food for himself because he wanted to eat. The guy was already trying to cook something there, and the girl was doing everything on the couch and trying to look at something there. The guy told her to stop watching TV and went to eat with him because it was already breakfast. The girl watched TV and didn't understand how it was even possible for a person least of all to use a spell and stay in the box. 
The guy said that first she needs to eat and then he will explain everything. Last year he carried out an experiment and didn't have time to talk about modern society. He told her to have my clothes because she can't wear his clothes all the time. The girl said that you shouldn't buy her clothes. After all, she doesn't care what to wear. The guy said that this would not work at all, if she had money, then the ancient culture on the street would look very stupid and everyone would react strangely to it. The guy told her to relax, he won't disappoint her at all, because he understands that she has found herself in a new world and he should teach her everything here. He said that he guaranteed that he would open her eyes to this world and she would understand that there were new opportunities here that she had not yet known. After all, they began to go into the city to buy her clothes and he also wanted to show her something new. They went outside and the girl noticed how some ladies were wearing strange outfits. She started asking him what kind of place this was and thought that it was the kingdom of heaven where absolutely all the rich people live. The guy said that first he needed to buy her underwear, then clothes and shoes. He began to ask what she prefers, dresses or trousers. She was surprised because she thought that everyone was putting everything on at once. The guy said that no one does this now and therefore she should just listen to what the experts in this matter have to say. He went into this store and asked the ladies to help this girl choose good clothes. The girl started looking at her and didn't understand where she got such cool shapes from and wanted to provide her with new options as soon as possible. The guy told her to relax and he would wait for her outside. Everyone was shocked by its size and suggested taking measurements only with your hands. The guy was very interested in how that same bird about which he also cared very much was spending his time there now. She said that this girl was even able to survive so that he could spend the night just perfectly, so I think that nothing will work out for him. She said that she also couldn't do it and that she needed to do it before they moved it here. She understood that she needed to restore other numbers and the day would come when the heavenly palaces would flourish as in former times. Still, they should kind of skimp so that she has good clothes. They understood that she would look simply incredible this way. The first thing we didn't do was go to the sports clothing store. Then they went to a store where they needed to buy themselves beautiful dresses. One type had to be incredibly sexy and the second quiet and calm. After that, they went into a store where swimsuits were sold and they didn't even say anything, I didn't understand that now it would just be some kind of pornography. They asked for one suit. The girl said that I would have enough of these things and there was a truly incredible amount. He said that she needed to buy more school clothes because she was already of an older generation where it was necessary to dress decently. But they didn't go forward and she carried all these purchases because he didn't want to because they were heavy. She noticed how there was a sign where it was written that the 21st century is an economic independence where men and women earn only for themselves. She heard that there is now a new world, a new life where you can earn money yourself and manage your money yourself. She began to think very hard about this topic because I understand that this way she can become her own citizen and not depend on anyone. The whole day had already passed and the morning came when it was necessary to move somewhere again because life did not stop. She was happy and woke up because a new morning had arrived and she liked the fact that they had such a good first day. She got out of bed and wanted to go somewhere, most likely to wake up her roommate. The girl began to make herself beautiful because she saw a lot of things where it was said that she could now be independent. She put on shorts to be ready. She wanted to move somewhere because life did not stop. The girl said that she would go look for work and as soon as she earned money she would return immediately. Meanwhile, the guy was meditating and not paying attention at all. The guy couldn't understand whether she said something or whether it seemed to him because he thought that she really said something. The girl began to think because she understood that when they went shopping in the evening, she noticed many advertisements for workers. She moved to areas where there were very bad people who could easily beat her and also take her money. The ordinary robber really liked that she looked just perfect and also walked through their alleys. The girl tried to look at the map where there were job advertisements, but the bandits had already approached her to punish her. They noticed that she was looking for a job and asked her if she wanted to find a job. They replied that they had a job with a high salary and she might just drop by. They said that they only needed her to offer a price and then they would be ready. They invited her to go to a strip club together and said that if she went there, there would be good tips for which she could buy her things. She couldn't believe that she was offered a job in which she didn't need any experience and she even really liked it. 
The guy said that of course this is not a difficult job at all and you just need to use your body to dance in front of men and make them feel unreal. She could not understand how to use an iron stick to capture the hearts of men. These were some strange things for her. Suddenly she finally understood what it really was and felt as if she had returned again to the job she had. The guy began to wonder where this girl ran away because he wanted to understand where she went. He realized that he was brought to a place where he goes very often and most likely this girl is now there. He couldn't believe that this was really true and she went to the place he didn't want to send her to because she was completely inexperienced. The guy entered this club and saw that she was there and could not believe that it was really her. The guy entered the club and noticed how happy everyone was when she performed and everyone liked her performance. And people shouted that they loved her and they even liked her very much. Everyone said that she had incredible beauty. He understood that now even in this area there is unequal competition. The girls said that it would be better for them to go back to university now, even though they had an ideal job. The guy took this girl and she didn't understand why he didn't like her job even though she was perfect and did everything. He said that it is good that she is trying to find a job. However, this time she found a too bad job and so he himself will find her something that suits her. He explained that he has professional support, after all, he is the main character and he can find the best place. And he even really liked the fact that she was like his younger sister with whom he could calmly walk and control her. Finally, the gates have been completed and they look as if they were brand new. The girl was happy because she was able to repair it as it was before, if we continue to connect the small worlds, then they will succeed. She pressed her necklace, which was right on her chest, and felt some kind of force. She was able to be guided through this gate and it was as if she was falling down into the ordinary world. She fell and realized that it was too early to do this, but she would soon begin a new period in which she would succeed. The girl continued to watch TV and the guy said that tomorrow it was time for her to get to the place where she would be glad to come. He said that not everything was so good there anymore, so a lot of difficulties awaited them and she had to be ready for them. The girl replied that she was always ready. As soon as they were transported to this place, an incredible gate was already waiting for them, which was completely rebuilt. The guy got angry because something could ruin the girl's idea of these things. He hoped that as soon as she saw this she would want to work. The guy understood that she just wanted to do something nice. After all, she had a lot of time, so he had to warn her. He said that now they are breaking up because this is a girl who can replace her. And now she is going to retire. She said that he would change and she was next to him when he was transported to this world to save the girl. And now she has four replacements and is sending her into retirement, it was simply unfair. The guy said that the other girl is very capable and she can help him. In addition, he understood that there was other work for her that she could do. He said that if moving between worlds harmed her, that was the price he was not willing to pay for it. The girl was glad that she meant a lot to him and she liked the fact that she was just going on vacation and not forever. She was delighted and said that since he asks her so sincerely, she will generously close her eyes to all the problems that he caused her. The blonde came up to her and told this girl not to worry. The younger one said that she would try and be ready for difficulties. She began to familiarize them with all the structures and their fixtures. She wanted to explain absolutely everything to him so that they could move on without her. She showed them the great warrior of heavenly wrath, who stood in defense of the palaces and combined combat abilities. The guy told her to look at this giant sword and also find some armor. The girl understood what a real heavenly general looks like and who he really is. She calmly touched her hand and said that since the heavenly creator died 1000 years ago, you there was no one to clean up this person. The girl said that it was just decoration, and the guy felt that she said very bad and offensive words that the other would perceive as an insult. She also decided to show them the Forge of Flame and here it is possible to forge millions of warriors. And here you can make simply incredible things that will serve you forever. There were a huge number of things that were simply not completed due to the fact that no one was watching it and no one cared. She also showed him the palace of mysterious animals who loved this place. After all, it gave them incredible powers with which they could not be stopped and killed. The girl realized that all celestials act only as they want to live in this world. The guy was very upset because she saw the palace again and began to behave somehow strangely. After that, this huge palace simply fell due to the fact that no one was watching it and there was just emptiness here. 
she also showed them the inhabitants and souls who were also very important. With the help of this place, many did whatever they wanted. Despite this, the guy understood that she looked ominous. She told them that the inhabitants of this place can extract and purify energy. She touched this place and said that in the past I wish the inhabitants of the monastery would now calm down were incredibly strong. She understood that they needed to connect one world and they needed to do something about it in the end. After all, they are just now dealing with the country's affairs. The guy said that she was completely right and you shouldn't rely only on their method of finding personnel because the energy will not be endless. She said that she was very wise, so she solved one problem and opened a special mirror for him. The guy asked what was in this mirror and she said that since this girl had become one of the best and also the first celestials, she would be able to choose the next one. She said that whether he was lucky would only depend on his luck and now he needed to choose another character. The guy ordered the girl to throw out a new hero for him who would become a good friend to them. The guy said that in his experience the first card is drawn by the system and it is always a special surprise. He believed in this form it was a strange miracle. The girl extended her hand and said that she would try to make everyone feel good. She was able to draw a new card and the girl was truly the perfect person. Who could draw a new character? And she managed to pull out some kind of card on which it was clear that this person would become a new character. He held this card and understood that this was the person who could make her more self-confident and also rebuild her palaces. The guy said that the first time it was completely unusual, but the second time it was already familiar, so he was already able to lead one person here and so could another. The blonde began to ask him if he was confident in himself because she felt that her help could still be useful to him. Now you live given new minute stories that everyone could simply dream of because something happened there. The girl read what was written there and understood what was said there about a young brave man who was firmly embarking on the path of creating a new story. The blonde began to teach her and I told her to repeat after her. She asked her to become a good sister using the system as Mrs. Phoenix taught her. The guy said that he would confiscate it because this girl was just inventing a job for herself, although she was supposed to just help him in these matters. She said that Miss Phoenix would make a decent system out of her. She also added that the Celestial did not need to worry about her, because Lady Phoenix had already done everything. The guy said that he didn't care at all and needed to move somehow, and she asked him if he had any. He said that this time he had a different plan and he would not have to call the Divine Court as in her case. He remembered how the third lightning spell was used back then, but now you can simply put an indicator sign using heavenly punishment. Finally, they came to the very place where you are a huge city among large huge rocks, where they actually ended up. The guy landed with this girl and didn't understand why he didn't feel any aura. After all, they were already too close to this place. He understood that something was blocking his perception. Therefore, he needed to deal with this and activate the special blue circle. He felt that there was something different here and therefore he needed to move from here, otherwise he would get into very big trouble. The guy realized that his candidate was even very different from everyone he had seen before. She was much stronger than he could have ever imagined. The guy said that there was nothing special about it. But the fact that she greeted him like that made him understand something very important. A huge knight on a horse jumped out in front of him and asked who they were and how they dared to break into the forbidden lands. He threw them like me and wanted them to die because he was not allowed to allow any new people to these places. The guy calmly repelled the blow of this guard and understood that for him it was as easy as shelling pears. He said that the strength of the people of this world is amazing, but even if they were even stronger, this is not a problem for him. It's as if he was the barrier that was built. The guy calmly threw away this weapon and was ready to enter this new city and examine everything around here. The guy said that nothing is clear here yet. Therefore, we need to retreat with this girl. But it was already too late. The girl said that she was expecting the appearance of a celestial being, she hoped that he would soon descend from heaven along with one judgment. The guy grabbed her and told her to calm down because she was very naughty because she did not obey him. The girl didn't understand why they were running away, but the guy said that they needed to retreat. After all, they didn't know this territory at all and could get into very big trouble. The girl said that on TV they said that you should always go forward because it has always been like that. The guy told her to read books better. He said that they should look at everything from the other side through the eyes of an ordinary person. 
because this way they will be able to collect information and will gradually get closer to the goal. And finally she realized that it was like in one TV series when an ordinary, ordinary person gradually advances in his career. She said that when they return home, she will buy eight boxes of walnuts and will watch this series with great pleasure. Meanwhile, this city really was located on one of the huge mountains and there were a lot of new adventures that were waiting. The city was already very close, I didn't approach it faster and faster because they wanted to fully see what was happening there. There was something very interesting inside this city that was completely connected by chains. It was some girl who most likely should have turned out to be that very celestial being. Still, the guy managed to get something after he did his special research. Their target is some holy virgin. It is now very strictly guarded. Everyone knew that the girl was now on that mountain, but he didn't want to act recklessly like he did last time. Therefore, it was necessary to completely deal with the situation. The girl said that she had discovered 18 million religious textbooks. She asked if her master wanted her to read them completely, but he replied that no. Meanwhile, while they were in this library, they heard someone say that the efforts had paid off and they had learned something else, something important. Everyone said that after the departure of that very virgin, the king and the church offered huge rewards by outliving adventurers to kill demons and hunt monsters. The guy understood that this was a brilliant plan that he had to implement, because if he did all this, he would be able to get to this Virgo. The guy said that they would take the same weak path and drink monsters before fighting demons. The guy said that they already need to move adventures but they were told that they could not take part. The man said that this is not a place where you can come without falling into a trap, so they should get out of here. They said that this small hole is not a trap. He also said that he is very strong and for him this is nothing. The man said that he didn't boast about his strength in front of him. After all, they know that he doesn't see anything. The man said that if they invaded here by accident, then they can help and find the way back. The guy said that he is an unusual rat. And in fact, he is very strong. The man said that protecting the weak is the long-awaited hero and they just have to follow them. The girl told him to listen to her because you can't build a dialogue with them. Then he noticed that the weather was really very strange and had changed quickly, which meant that most likely now he would show them real strength. The girl said that this was an ominous aura. Therefore, they had to get out of here because they would get very bad things. The guy said that most likely a demon showed up. It was noticeable that a huge number of demons wanted to kill people who locked a special girl inside even though she should be free. These monsters began to attack them to avenge their mistress, who is now imprisoned and serving time. Still, they tried to somehow protect themselves and activated a magical barrier in order to protect themselves from these monsters. They understood that this was just the last teleportation scroll and they had no chance to save themselves against it. The girl received a brilliant thing, namely that very last scroll, and they were told to get out of here. After all, they are real heroes who sacrifice themselves for the sake of others. Something very strange began to happen there and a huge tornado formed protection for seconds. The man said that these children should remain alive because he did not want them to die so easily and recklessly. They also asked that they still talk about their actions and Vitacom should know because people love their heroes. The weather really wasn't the best and everyone understood that most likely this was their last battle. Therefore, they had to give it 100%. The guy was able to put an end to all these demons in a second. And these three looked and watched this because they didn't believe their eyes. The guy said that it was not at all good to give away such expensive things just like that, because he calmly dealt with these. He gave away the one that was really needed because it was worth a huge amount of money if you had it. The guy said that they should already teleport from here and go so that they would already leave this place because they would be for him. The guy understood that they needed to explore and the girl wanted to pave the way for them to move on. They rushed forward to find the very girl who he really needed because her power was unreal. Still, I couldn't move through the special forest and the guy realized that they couldn't be in that very right place. The girl began to worry and asked her master if this was the place they were told about. The guy said that nothing can be seen here at all. Therefore, she needs to remove this curtain so that he can calmly see everything further. The girl had to do it perfectly, so she went into battle, despite the fact that she didn't even know where she was going. She struck with her spear at the man who was wearing a hood and some strange costume. And in this costume, this is the very girl who was needed. 
After all, they wanted to make her a new celestial. The girl was able to calmly repulse this blow and block it in front of her and was not even shaken, realizing that they could not harm her. The guy asked her who she even was because he wanted to know where they came and why they were here. The guy noticed how some strange thing began to activate and most likely now strange demons will come again. He understood that the evil spirit is an ideal catalyst for stimulating the appearance of widening cracks. She didn't expect them to come to her so early. The girl said that now that he knows who she is, he should get out of here so as not to run into demonic creatures. The guy said that even if he runs away, he will take one demon with him because he will really need her away. He wanted to take her, but the girl really didn't understand what he wanted to do with her, everywhere you turned out to be a stupid move. She shouted at him not to come near her. After all, no one had done this before and for the first time she felt that someone wanted to take her away. The guy extended his hand to her, but some strange monster appeared behind him and was ready to kill him. Thanks to the fact that he had a faithful assistant, she was able to calmly deal with these monsters, although it was very difficult. She said that these creatures are much stronger than the previous ones. Therefore, she will have to work very hard to escape from them. The girl in the hood said that there were places like this in the area and he would die if he didn't escape. The guy asked who she was, because for some reason she survived and not a single demon had killed her yet. The guy understands that she doesn't want him to die as a girl, but for some reason she continues to guard this tree. He asked her to tell him the reason because he simply could not understand why everything was happening so strangely. The girl continued to fight against these monsters and it was very difficult for her because they were much stronger. She shouted to him that there were more and more demons, so she needed help and he should not relax. The guy understood that he needed to do everything himself and he told the girl to look after her. After all, he himself could deal with all this. She said that there was no point in following her at all because they could unite and escape. The girl did not believe that she would even remain alive. She told them that if they don't do this now, it will be too late because these creatures are much stronger than he could only imagine. The guy didn't care because he was not like everyone else and he activated his ability with which he flew up and punched a huge number of demons. He calmly dealt with them one by one and killed these creatures with the help of what he shot from his fingers. A large number of these animals were dead because they simply could not escape from such a force that he organized for them. It was as if he threw them all into the fire and began to fry them so that they would simply burn alive. The girl didn't understand how this was possible because no one had even managed to fight off at least three monsters that attacked you at once. Guys it was a lot of fun because he understood that he was calmly dealing with them and the girl said that he would not be able to survive. He said that everything was packed with the cakes and that's why he wanted to discuss with her further what he came here for. The girl didn't understand what it was all about learning my voice and that's why she sat in the hood and didn't say anything. Thanks to this, she activated some strange glow near this tree and thought about what she should do next. And the assistant noticed that the cloud was dissipating and the rift was shrinking back. Finally someone was able to stop her and did it perfectly. The girl didn't even know what to tell them because she didn't understand how anyone could stop all this. She said that she didn't tell them at all that she wouldn't run away and they most likely misunderstood her. She rushed up and the guy shouted for her to stop immediately because he wanted to take her with him. The girl simply spat on them and said that they were stupid losers who lost so easily. But it was already too late because the guy had incredible abilities and was able to freeze her with his electric ones. He said that the protective spell was cast just at the moment of destruction of the demons. Most likely she hit herself very hard and lost consciousness. No one could understand that she would run so fast, that's why it all happened. Meanwhile, people were very angry because they did not like the fact that demons still existed. The girl ran with all her might, but still she could not endure the victory and therefore fell. She was in a lot of pain and she didn't know what to do next. After all, people ran towards her and wanted to kill her because she was a demon. Everyone didn't like the fact that she was doing this at home at all, and she even saw some gloomy woman in her eyes. It was all her dream and she was able to finally wake up because she was head down because they had tied her up. The guy was glad that she finally woke up because thanks to this he will be able to find out a lot of information about her. The girl screamed for him to let me go immediately because she wanted to leave him because he caught her without her agreement. She screamed that he was just a pervert and she would never obey him. Meanwhile, they were discussing this girl and he said that he tied her up only so that she would not run away. He understood that if it weren't for the girl's persistent desire, 
he would have immediately brought her to the dumpling. The girl told her that she untied her only so that she would stay with them and not even try to run away. The guy kept thinking about who she was. The first rule of hospitality is to feed your bones, so they gave her something to eat, it was very tasty. He told his subordinate to immediately bathe her because it stinks very much in here. He hinted that it was the girl who was not following. She got angry and said that it was completely impolite on his part, but he didn't care and he humiliated her even more and told his subordinate to wash with her. They had no choice and so they both went to wash in order to look normal. He realized that this world was completely different and he would have to work very hard with it. He understood that at first, instead of setting a place, he teleported into some wilds, and then he never once understood what to do with this girl next. He understood that if he really calculated everything correctly, then this girl they found could turn out to be the key. They continued to swim. But this was their order, which they had to carry out in minutes. The guy understood that it was necessary to get down to business and so he began to ask her who she was. The girl was ready for him to rape her. The guy said that she was exaggerating very much and he was not going to do this with her. After all, he just had a conversation that needed to be discussed. He also said that, on the contrary, he could protect her and the girl did not understand at all what he was talking about. The guy said that he doesn't care at all why she is called a demon and he is sure that she is not only not to blame for the appearance of minds, but is also trying to close them up. He said that she only had a few options and she immediately realized that one of them was for her to be his dog. The guy said that in essence it was, but only he said it much more clearly and other things were also discussed with her. The girl said that on the contrary, she was happy to help and she didn't care what she said to herself. The girl said that now she could finally go far away from these idiots and began to quickly run away from them. The guy did something incredible to her with the help of his lightning and said that I don't teach anything in life at all, he hoped that after that she would already understand how to behave. I asked for a little time and my boyfriend took this lady and said that a lot of demons had already come running. He stood with them on the rock. He told her not to worry about the demons and he would kill each of them, but her task now is to close it absolutely every time. The girl said that she had changed her mind and would root for them, the guy said that he was confident in her, but also ordered his subordinate to keep an eye on her and now he would deal with the demons. The girl began to feel very strange and trembled with all her might, and the gentleman calmly dealt with the demons while they walked away. The guy calmly dealt with these demons and the girls watched all this and one of them did not feel very well. The hunters were very upset. After all, they had lost a huge number of demons that they themselves wanted to kill. The girl somehow didn't feel very well and I understand that she lost a lot while he was killing these demons. But suddenly it turned out that it was not a guy who calmly dealt with it, but a girl. The guy said that he put a lot of effort into meeting her one on one and he did not expect that she would be so strong. He told her that she should know who she really was and also asked her to show who she really was. The guy went into battle with her and understood that she was really unusual and he caught a stronger opponent. He noticed that she was simply amazing and had incredible powers that he had never encountered before. But suddenly that same subordinate turned to him, and he did not understand what was happening because some bright flashes formed behind him. M. O. Lon said that this girl had been in this state for some time and she couldn't bring her to her senses even with her legendary scream. The guy realized that most likely this is an advanced disguise spell with the help of which she can do incredible things. He said that if she weren't even right in front of him, he simply wouldn't have noticed her. The subordinate asked what he would do with her next. The guy said what he was doing flew away. So he returns to his plan and first he goes down and destroys the demons. The guy began to think what was happening to this girl because he could not fully understand what had happened to her before. The girl returned with her prey and there was the same maiden that they tried to find earlier. He ordered them to forget everything that happened today and they washed themselves again because they stink very strongly. The boy ran and shouted that there was new fresh news about the fact that the church was shocked by the appearance of talent on an adventurer who had destroyed countless demons. Everyone was shocked that some new person was able to kill the demons that had been preventing people from living for a long time. The guy received the very glory for which he did this in the first place because he knew that thanks to this he would be able to gain many new abilities. People and especially the workers' churches began to thank him for what he did, because these were incredible actions that he himself decided to do. The guy said that the greater the power, 
the greater the responsibility and also one of the monks told him that he needs to go to another place where he will receive more tasks. The guys really didn't like that the award ceremony was made to look like some kind of trial and he thought he'd already run away from here. He remembered this award ceremony, which was really similar to the days where he was asked about whether he worked with demons. The monk said that there will be good on earth only after the complete extermination of demons. They wanted to use it as their weapon. He understood that it was more like brainwashing and did not understand what was happening to them. He also didn't like the fact that for some reason they distorted the facts. It looked somehow very strange and it was generally unclear why. The guy asked him what is so terrible I will do since the church wants her dead, despite the consequences. The girl tried to remember what she did and it really was not one of the best moments of his life. The guy told her not to remember because it doesn't concern him, so she just shouldn't lie to him. He also understood that her disguise spell still requires time to be fully effective. The subordinate said that the judge, based on the map and the speed of the horses, the journey to the county would take about four or five days, if they add variable weather conditions, they would arrive in a week. And he really didn't like the fact that they would have to stay in this carriage for a whole week and go somewhere all the time. But he understood that on a cart he would be much faster than on his own two feet. The guy said that most likely they would have to stay here for a long time, so he ordered her to chat with each other. He invited her to tell him about herself and the barrier, and he wanted to talk about this area as much as possible. She told him that he was not the first person who became interested in her and she no longer hoped that he would believe her forever, there was some chance. She said that she is not a demon at all and she is simply a believing victim with no way back and no place to return to. Finally, he realized that it turns out there are other mages who are very similar to this girl. She told him a lot of information while they were driving. He also realized that she could sense rifts and must close them. She doesn't like strangers so she always tries to be alone. The guy called her Snow White, but he didn't like that at all because she doesn't know who Snow White really is. The girl said that her name is not Snow White, but in fact her name is different. But unfortunately she doesn't have a name and she was very sad because she didn't understand at all who she really was. The girl said that she didn't like the sound of Snow White at all, because for her it was some kind of name for a disease and she didn't want to have such a name. The guy said that women actually have a lot of problems, so he still has to do something with them. The guy suggested her name Alice. Everyone said that this name means that it is brighter and nobler than any flower. The girl began to think about it and subdued her and said that she liked this name. The guy began to think about the fact that Alice was closing the rifts and that the same virgin about whom they were talking, on the contrary, was creating them and which side should he be on. He understood that he would receive an answer only when he got to the place where he could discuss all this with two girls and understand what it was all about. Finally they were able to come to the northern border. It was already very difficult. They were tired of spending so much time on the road. These lands were completely unsuitable for growing anything there. But the guy still wanted to buy them immediately. He met with some aristocrats with whom he wanted to discuss one very important matter. But he didn't really need any workarounds. He heard that most of the local money was looted by demons. So he just needs to return it immediately. He understood that his number one mission was to kill all the demons and take the treasure and he would also receive a special bonus. His second mission is to create and expand their structures, thanks to which he would receive another bonus. He understood that they even tried to stop him. After all, everyone understood that the new vial was too dangerous, he could start with this. In fact, they did not know at all about the true authorities. They even tried to poison him, the guy didn't care because she calmly understood what it was. Everyone was shocked by how he ate this goose that had poison and didn't even show anything. People thought that. After this, the guy did not want to take revenge on them and said that he had killed all the demons in the area but did not find even a hint of the treasure. His third mission was to fight the bandits and destroy the nobility with the help of which he could make an incredibly good place and therefore got down to business. Still, after some time, thanks to his efforts and the people who helped him, the city began to prosper. He thought that such results for this era can already be called an achievement, because he did something truly incredible. Well, some strange doubts still haunt him, as if he forgot something. He could not understand why he had two Snow Whites, because at first he only had one. In fact, he had much more of them. After all, 
they were able to multiply due to the fact that he had many completed missions. The girls squeezed him out for persuading the villagers to accept them even if they had to use persuasion magic. The guy said that there was no one nearby so it was his duty and he also said that when the infrastructure is ready, they will begin new stages. The girl looked at the textbook because she wanted to learn their language so that she would be more literate and could get a more prestigious job. He helped me understand that Alice had now become stronger than the average person, but her stamina had not increased at all. She can do hard work, although then she will have to rest for a long time. In addition, each Alice has different preferences with a very early taste of sweet, sour, bitter, spicy and salty. The girl in the department had some kind of dress and didn't understand why she had to wear it. It was because it was a little short. The girl thought that the guy liked maids and so she also wanted to paint herself white and become like them. However, this gentleman's research was not successful, she understood that Alice would not live here forever, we can say that they use this place as a vacation. Alice said that they were rootless people who simply walked around the world without stopping anywhere. The number of Alices they have almost does not change, although neither the Celestial Lord knows that they often gather in groups, leave and never return. They began to thank the gentleman for his help, they need to fulfill their duties, so they cannot stay here forever. The guy said that he had not yet figured out their secrets, so they needed at least one sample. He said that there are still a lot of them, so it's okay if someone gives up their body. When the girls tried to escape, he used barrier magic and stopping her, she understood that as long as God didn't follow her, she had to behave well. She told her to put the documents there with the celestial being himself, and the girl said that she also wanted to go with her and help. The brunette began to ask her what she needed from the master himself. After all, they wanted to escape from here as soon as possible to leave these places. Meanwhile, they continued to beat that same tree. After all, everyone wanted to understand where those girls had gone. The tree was getting worse and worse every second. After all, they just beat him up as if she meant nothing to them. The worker said that no traces were found so everything was simply destroyed. Also, the guy on Pegasus said that he didn't arrive north past half of the empire and they are sure that this is where they are heading. The sage said that her strength was at its limit because of the wounds she received from the arrows. This means that she can no longer maintain her disguise. The guys moved forward in order to find this girl, they needed to catch Alice. They had to walk through the forests and find new girls so that finally everyone would be happy and no one would have problems why this was happening. The girl ran with all her might to escape, and she ran so fast that she left huge footprints behind her. She tried to run away from them faster because she felt that this would not end well. It was very difficult for her, she probably didn't have any control over her power, so she wanted to leave it as soon as possible. She endured with all her might and said that she was almost there. Therefore, she had to pull herself together and wait until the last second. She knew that she needed to get there and it would be much safer there than the place where she was before. The three were together and the girl with long white hair dropped her books. The guy asked her what happened. The girl asked for his help because she wanted him to be able to help her because she had a grief. She felt some wounded Alice who was also next to him, and he said that they are very weak, so usually they don't save the wounded, but he knows that she is strong. Finally, they couldn't find this girl who could barely get there and felt that she was getting worse and worse. But suddenly, out of nowhere, it was visible how this girl was hit by an arrow and she completely died due to the fact that the shot was incredibly strong. The guy noticed how this girl was wounded and could not understand what it was because he knew that he did not kill for nothing. She was shocked to see how her twin was practically killed before her eyes. M.O. Lon felt that there was 100% some kind of danger here. Therefore, you had to get out of here while you were still alive. This girl felt pain and screamed for help, saying that she was Alice. Alice ran to her to help her twin because she knew that only she could do it. She reached out to her and wanted to save her, but it was already too late because she was hit and there was no other choice. A man came out from here and said that he was finally able to get another demon. He liked what was happening. The girl screamed for him to die, for her it was a monster. The guy said that in the name of the Holy Virgin he would destroy all the gold in the world so that everyone could live in peace. He released another one to kill this girl because he knew that they were similar when they were drops of water and therefore she needed to be seen. The girl didn't know what to do. After all, most likely she would have simply died if no one had intervened in this duel. 
The guy was able to calmly catch this arrow and said that he was just a piece of shit who was not worthy of killing girls. The guy asked him which unit he was from and who gave him the right to attack his people on his territory. He said that he was the commander of the Holy See's Central Army, and he dared to suggest that he was a famous demon hunter. This guy asked his permission to deal with this demon and said that he would receive half the reward for this. He also shouted at him to get out of the way because he, as a hunter, must understand who he is protecting now and this is a human demon. The guy said that he was completely out of his mind. He activated the element of flame so that the girl would not be touched because he wanted to protect her because I felt that they would kill her. No one understood what he was doing and everyone tried to do something about it because the demon could just leave this place right now. People told him to calm down the guy because he really helped this throne by destroying the demons in his mouth and raising this place from its knees. They suggested to him that they would forget about this situation if they gave it up. The old man said that this world is teeming with demons, but fortunately the holy cause set them on the path of fighting evil spirits. The guy realized that from this story only one thing can be understood, that this was all organized by a special girl who wanted to kill Alice. The girl asked him not to do anything because she understood that although the death of her sisters was very sad, they always lose someone. Therefore, it was necessary to end this. She went forward and said that there had never been and never will be a place for them on this earth, the girl said that she was very grateful to him for what he did, because he gave her an incredible rest. If she said that it was time for her to pay off her debt, and so she extended her hand and joined him Olan. She didn't want this and tried to stop her. The rest were already very angry. After all, they did not understand at all where these demons were, the old man said that if you are an accomplice of the demon, then it is punishable. They suggested that they atone for their guilt because he had caused a lot of problems for their state. This only made the guy laugh. So he said that he did not need to repeat several times that he was not here to kill demons that did not exist. The guy said that this is his land and therefore she demands that they leave this place immediately. He burst out and said that they don't even know who crossed the road. The girl began to worry very much because she understood that it was all because of her, if she had just given up then none of this would have happened. Off very much. The wars were supposed to kill him and they were ordered to fight against him and underestimate their rival. He also asked them to show him absolutely all the power that they were capable of because he wanted this guy to die. But he didn't care because he was calm, dealing with incredible explosions and dealt with it as if it was just another challenge for him. The guy said that he didn't feel anything at all, it was the complete opposite of his powers, and apparently his guesses were correct. He said that he would now punish all the true and sinners and they would pay for their actions. No one understood where he got such powerful strength from and why he dealt with them so calmly without receiving any counterattacks at all. There was incredible power in this city and no one understood what was happening there because such a powerful explosion had never happened before. After this, the old man, together with the strong warrior, remained alive and told him that he was just a blasphemer who did not understand what he had done. He told them to call him whatever they want, but for now he will be a good boy because he can kill him. Everyone knew that this town was just some kind of rotten place until the legendary lord appeared and turned everything upside down. Large, strong houses were built on the site of old houses, now people were not forced to move and lie on the street. Barns were built again and filled with grain and everyone had food in stock. Every day new traders come and make deals to make it a simply incredible life where everyone enjoys it. The worker asked the girls what they were doing, have you just started the entire harvest season? And the girls said that all this was on Ord's orders, so he should calm down. Granny could barely move and said that she was too old but the girl offered her an ingenious chair with which they would be much more comfortable. No one could believe that this was really true. After all, no one could have thought that the gentleman would make such a cool city. They began to recognize Alice because everyone thought that she was the one who followed the Lord. Maybe he started asking if everything was okay with the Lord because he had not appeared in public for two days. The girl replied that he had too much work and that's why he didn't show up. Everyone liked this life and the old man said that most likely the Lord just works for a very long time and therefore does not go out. The old man told her that she works too much all day long, so he offered her some candy so that she could relax normally. The old man shouted to the girls not to touch what he had there because he didn't want to say goodbye to it. People asked that his working hours be reduced because the current schedule is too strict. It seemed to everyone that this life was simply incredible, 
but most of all there were disadvantages. The girl felt that this was finally all and now she could say goodbye to this city. Although there were still many problems here, but suddenly someone heard that the church was coming against them to take everything as it was and kill the legendary lord. The guy ran with all his might to tell this news, he understood that if he didn't make it in time, they simply wouldn't be ready for such a battle. The boy said that in the neighboring district someone found out that the girl is not a person and she is a demon. That is why the church is coming here. People didn't understand what he was saying because the girl was the most ordinary and simple citizen of this city. But suddenly they began to notice that this was really true because she had creepy hair and purple eyes. Everyone was sure that she was not a demon because the Lord said that she was like that from birth. Everyone said that she was just a monster, and even so the candy fell to the bottom and she felt that now her previous life would begin. The Alices understood that most likely the world really was not a home for them. They were just lucky that they were able to stay here for so long. And the foxes understood that the time had come to leave and therefore it was necessary to help the citizens with their last chores and then run away. The girls understood that because of them the gentlemen would have a lot of problems. Therefore, everything had to be done to make sure everything was normal. I also didn't understand that he had a lot of problems without them, so they shouldn't have given him any inconvenience. Suddenly he came out and grabbed this girl and she said that this guy has a difficult character and only sister Mo Lan can withstand him. The girl doesn't understand why she is so sad to leave here. Although it was understandable, because for her it became a second home. She left here otherwise he would run away because I understand that without her everyone here would be better off and for her it was just fate. She knew that quite a lot of people had gathered here and she had announcements so that everyone would understand what was happening here. The commander went out to the people to explain to them one very important thing that they still could not understand. He said that the evacuation briefing was almost completed, so he wanted to convey something to them. He declares war on the church. The girls began to think what they should do next. After all, all the townspeople are already leaving, so they also need not to contradict Will. The girl said that she would not leave, but no one understood why Alice wanted to stay. Everyone understood that they had to leave here because they couldn't stay. She said that they lived in constant fear and they would not make much effort to return to their past life. She understood that after she experienced this warm, calm life, she no longer wanted to run around the world and beat everyone else. She approached this guy and said that the person who made them very homely therefore now bears full responsibility for them to the end. The guy said that she was stupidly laughing at him, he wouldn't want to do that for anything. The girl told him to wait because he didn't want her to know that he was leaving. The guy said that this is why he is leaving this very place. He said that he could not help them forever, it was simply impossible, he was no longer ready to waste his time on this. He said that he had protected enough but that he should not take it for granted. The girl said that he forced them to build all these defensive structures but now they are retreating, it was stupid. The guy said that no one in the world can save her except herself, so he can't do anything about it. He activated an instant attack in order to leave this place because he understood that he had already done a lot. Thanks to this attack, a huge number of arrows followed and flew away with lightning speed. The girls did not understand what was happening and began to worry very much that the city would now be completely destroyed. The guy stepped onto this land and said that there would be peace and where they could prosper and live as he pleased. He said that in the name of the Holy Virgin they would be able to find a blessing that could change the world, which is exactly what happened. These were the same people who wanted to kill this girl because for them she was a sign of a problem. They were glad that there were no more people, so now the war would begin. The commander told them to follow their will. After all, they understand what they are fighting for and everyone will have to know why he gives his life for this. I, the guy on Pegasus told them to resist there will be very good consequences if they actually do this. He had only one choice. The girls began to worry very much. After all, they did not know what to do because now they were surrounded and they had absolutely no time to escape. But the girls were not so simple, I didn't say that because the guy saved everyone. Now they will save this city in which they lived. She said that they had been hiding for too long and this time they would not give up. They will fight to the last and have activated their lightning powers. A huge number of arrows began to fly at them and the people on the Pegasi continued to move straight towards them in the territory. But this did not stop them. The girl said that if they get injured, 
they retreat and change because they don't need to sacrifice themselves as they usually do. The guy watched what was happening to this city and realized that most likely he had built a new life thanks to which these girls could create a new world for themselves. He understood that they could hold out for a while, but the girl told him that, after all, the church army is well-trained soldiers. She implied that they would not be able to cope, but he said that he was confident in his structures and they provided protection for the city and he always kept in touch with them. He also reminded her not to forget about their mission and everything they did was for this moment, because they wanted to get another person on their team. The battle continued and the guy flew in to help because I didn't know that thanks to his strength they would become much more powerful. He moved forward and said that he was right and it turns out that all the elite troops are in this city. The girl was a little shocked by what he used as bait. The guy said that he told her about this a long time ago and she should have realized that it was true. There is also that no one in this world can save her. Therefore, they had no other choice and he had to do it. Finally, they were able to get to where this which was who arranged all this. They finally got there and could no longer believe that it was really true because they had been running after her for a very long time. As soon as he gave in, he noticed that there was something strange there, namely the very chains that were holding this lady. The girl told him that something was wrong here, he said that he, too, was able to notice a long time ago. Therefore, it was necessary to deal with it. He said that the chains in which she is imprisoned appear only when a person's life is confirmed. So when he came it was simply useless. The guy activated his lightning and hoped that now, with the help of his power, it could completely dissipate. Thanks to his ability, he was able to free this girl from such terrible things and she remained in just one huge sphere. He was happy because finally they were able to do it and now they will have much more opportunities thanks to this girl. Mo Lan noticed that now it was necessary to wake up this girl because she was now in a state of trance. The guy said that it was really not difficult and as she thought in consciousness, no, there was only instinct thanks to which she still lived. But suddenly he noticed that this shell could not be damaged just like that and the girl began to hug him, which turned out to be strange. Emolon began to think what was going on there, and she didn't really like him being with her. The guy asked her what she was thinking about and I would also explain that this shell would not be able to survive the disaster. Suddenly she realized that the woman who was not seen outside was actually her. He said that everything was exactly like that and they would now have to find her again. Although it would not be the easiest task, they would cope with it. This girl looked very dangerous and she was ready to kill them. After all, they disturbed her peace, which is why they will be dead. She had an incredible helmet in which she felt that these scoundrels were very close and would need to punish them. Suddenly she realized that she had been following them and since he broke through his outward defenses, she probably wanted to enter there too. The guy said that there was nothing like that here anymore and therefore it was necessary to understand that they were obliged to protect the body of this little girl. In front of him stood this very girl who was in an incredible costume and was ready to kill him, and he said that he would fight. The guy also hinted to her that he fell in love with the command of heaven to help and take revenge. Very dangerous battles began to take place there which absolutely no one needed because they were doing very bad things. The girl was ready to fight him and she activated her superpowers due to the fact that she participated in the church. The guy didn't want to just give up and was also ready to fight because he felt that if he defeated this girl, then he would succeed. The battle really lasted a long time because the opponents were quite strong and each of them had incredible abilities. The girl wanted to show him what she was ready for and therefore made an incredible circle with which she tried to make the first attack. The guy felt that defense was better than attack, so he went at her and thought that he could win so easily. But the girl was able to calmly protect her body thanks to the fact that she activated this huge shield. The guy didn't understand what was happening, but suddenly he noticed that some kind of radiance appeared on his head, which was clearly good for him. From there came very powerful rays of light that made a small trap for him because he did not at all expect that this would happen. And he felt worse and worse due to the fact that he could not even imagine how experienced his enemy was. Mo Lan protected the body of this little girl and understood that now she would also have to do something about it. After all, the master could die. She put the body aside and said that she had to help him at any cost, because otherwise he simply would not survive. The guy told her not to get close and just protect the saint's body because this was the most important mission. He realized that this girl very easily repelled his attack and she really deserved to be called the strongest in the world. 
He realized that attacks from Alice were becoming more and more clear and the protective array began to influence him quite strongly. He understood that he should not stop because this would be the stupidest battle of his life that he could lose. Meanwhile, battles continued in this town and in the end the real battlefield was located here. Alice's tried to repel the attacks and with the help of their magic abilities they tried to repel this huge spherical barrier. The girls felt pain and understood that their body was about to be destroyed along with the city that they themselves had built. She prayed that the guy would come to their aid because she couldn't handle it herself. They understood that outwardly their barrier had already been destroyed and if they continued to attack it would completely destroy this city. Unfortunately, it had already begun to burn and they had no choice but to evacuate from there because it was simply hell there. The girls started plowing because they were no longer at home and now absolutely everything depends on luck. They didn't understand why this was all happening and what they could have done wrong so that the houses suddenly began to burn. She understood that the only fault was that they appeared in this world because that's what a warrior once said, who wanted to inflict pain. This city continued to burn and they had no choice but to leave it because even the town hall itself could no longer withstand such a flame. Still, these girls were caught and they had no choice but to obey, because otherwise they would have been dead. There was only one girl left who was among this fire and her name was Alice. She tried to run away, but they told her not to even think about the light and had already unraveled their magic. And now they won't run away anywhere. The man said that the will of the Holy Virgin is the law for them and they are all under her protection, so they demons do not recognize what must disappear. They should have already been killed and one of the barbarians swung his hand to finish off these girls. But suddenly someone shouted for them to stop doing this because it was simply blasphemy to kill beautiful girls. The girls screamed for them to stop doing this because she didn't want this to really continue. They didn't notice that all the girls were completely captured, but this same blasphemer was not there. They thought he was just scared and ran away. They also said that they had already killed a lot of monsters but could not find the holy cause. The man said that her highness is in seclusion and she cannot appear all the time. These were most likely excuses. After all, they did not want to know the real truth, and then someone was able to break into the forbidden zone. The barbarians ran up because they realized that most likely the very person they were looking for was there and the holy virgin was now under threat. She said that the intruder had already been noticed, it was too late because a battle was beginning in which everyone had to show their strength. The girl told her to stop because her life should be and not just destroyed like everyone else. And the knights got angry and asked how she even dared to dare them, because now she would fight with their blade. Very powerful fights continued to take place there and this means that the guy was trying his best to defeat the maiden. The knights flew out in a second because such a powerful charge could not be withstood by the ordinary armor they were wearing. And the knight said that this man is just a monster because he does some very dangerous things. He couldn't understand how an ordinary person was trying to fight against the virgin herself, because it was just madness. The guy said that it was really difficult for him and he tried his best because he understood that he could not lose because otherwise he would be free. The girl continued to fight him, although she knew that even if she won, she would still remain locked up. She activated some strange angled spherical object in front of him that again wanted to fight back. Thanks to this, she fired from it and the guy flew up very high due to the fact that he could not control everything. Mo Lan began to worry very much because she knew that if she didn't help her master now, then most likely he would feel very bad. But the guy still told her not to approach and just protect her, because if she doesn't do this, then their plan will completely fail. The girl said that her murderous thirst for blood is becoming even stronger. Therefore, it will be difficult for her. The guy said that he knows all this and the thirst for blood is the accumulation of anger and when one's own consciousness leaves life itself, it immediately gains anger. But suddenly the girl noticed that she was not dying at all and, on the contrary, she still had consciousness and, in some miracle, she still understood where she was. The guy said that this was not important and that Mr. Celestial had to be saved because these were two big risks that could not be allowed. He went into battle and understood that she would not leave him until he won. Therefore, he had to do everything so that she would stop thinking that he would lose. He flew with all his might at full speed, it seemed like some kind of incredible skill that only he could do. The guy told her to stop anyway and watch her body. Because this way she will be much more useful and thanks to this they will be able to get a joint victory. 
She said that with some things you need to be completely different and unfortunately no one will help. Alice watched she understood all this that she had only one choice and therefore she had to do it. Meanwhile, earlier the girls were thinking about what to do and they were discussing a gentleman who was a little strange for them. Alice also asked another Alice what they would do together if there were no more rifts. One said that she would stay here and not go anywhere. They also asked Alice, but she said that she would not leave here and did not even think about changing anything in her life. She also said that she would try to save money and would like to buy a plot of land from the gentleman to live with me. She wanted to build a house so big that it was now because of this and no one could find it. The girl began to think whether his mission justified such a high price. After all, they built it all in one day. The girl understood that most likely their existence was simply meaningless and this was another game of the master. She couldn't believe whether she was really a monster, because in her head everything was different and she wanted to fully understand. The rifts continued to become larger and larger, which meant that demonic creatures had to fall into this world. Fortunately, someone managed to fly by and save the girl from punishment and also cut off the hand of this knight. The hand began to fall right in front of her and she could not understand what was happening. What if they noticed that a huge number of monsters began to fly out here and the targets were worried about their health because they were cowards? Demonic creatures began to fly out of these cracks. After all, they wanted to take revenge on them for everything that they had done to these girls earlier. These monsters flew into this world and killed the knights who wanted to seize these lands. They didn't have a chance because there were much more monsters and they could easily cope with non-sharp weapons. The knights shouted that they needed help and they died, although they knew that they had to do this. But suddenly someone strange appeared in front of the knight, who could save his life thanks to his strength. It was that same girl and she began to burn with a yellow flame as if she were God. Thanks to her ability, she again feels absolutely all her energy and ascends as if she were a celestial being. The girl was ready to fight against this and she had enough strength to close all these portals. The monsters flew by, but the girl knew that she still had to save people who were not to blame. What if the monster began to melt right before their eyes and the knights did not understand what was happening here? The commander began to ask how this was even possible, because he did not believe his eyes that the girl, on the contrary, saved their lives. Thanks to her abilities, she was able to close every block and create peace. The girl said that she couldn't let him go but in the end it was their earth so they had to do it. Mo Lan and the guy were very happy. After all, they were finally able to understand that the girl was able to progress even on her own. Even the heavenly thing herself realized that she was no longer their strength and therefore it was better for her to hide from here because she could not defeat them. She was able to remove her power and become an ordinary girl who just had strange abilities. She also said that their mission had already come to an end and they did everything perfectly. Fortunately, this is all over and everything has stopped in its place. This meant that peace had returned. People could not believe that this was really true and that finally she would no longer have the demons that were killing them. Even the church itself did not understand how this was possible. After all, they thought that they would no longer have a chance except to kill all the witches. Even the church itself could fall after I failed to reveal the truth and they understood real life. A huge circle began to form around this entire location, and thanks to the fact that they were really able to defeat the demons, they succeeded. The knight said that they heard the voice of the Holy See and her ladyship came out. They hoped that this was some kind of message from above. The girl herself simply sparkled and seemed like a new god who could guide them in the right direction with the help of which they would make them their best. What if the army didn't understand what had happened? After all, they noticed how demons stopped entering the world and the girl was able to fight them off with her light. They also noticed that they were moving somewhere and the king said that there was a forbidden domain in that direction. There was that same Virgo who was able to simply remove all these fears and become a normal girl. The guy was sitting very tired and was glad that she was finally able to wake up because he was already very tired of waiting for her. The girl began to apologize for the fact that she caused them a lot of problems and she didn't even know how to make amends. The guy barely got up and said that he liked the fact that she was able to understand her guilt but he still didn't know her name. She didn't know her name and told them to just call her Alice. It was some kind of coincidence. After all, they called a completely different girl with the same name and this means that they are in the right direction. She also said that they could call her by another name, which lasted a very long phrase. The guy said that Alice is a wonderful name. 
The girl completely agreed with him and understood that she had made a lot of problems, but thanks to the fact that she was smart, she could solve them. Suddenly, it finally dawned on him that Alice was just a body that showed the real essence of this girl as well as her small character. Here the heavenly virgin said that in some respects he was right, but also wrong. She said that she is practically one of them, she just brings joy and sorrow to everyone. She also said that this world is on the verge of collapse and in order to maintain order, she divided her soul. She made millions of doubles who helped and control the world on earth, but unfortunately the darkness inside her took advantage of this and forced her to close herself off from the outside world. The girl said that he had not taken much strength, so they should have just left because she can become a god. Although he really wanted her to be one, he replied that she had been with him for a very long time and they were rebuilding this city together, so they should already know very well, so he asked her if she was ready to stay. The guy asked her not to take it for him, it was already too late because this was the real end. The guy reached out for her to take her with him, because he understood that he had spent a lot of effort on him and would like him to stay with her. He activated his power and wanted to rise again to heaven and also take this girl with him and make her one of the gods. But it was already too late because she was able to activate her abilities, thanks to which she fought off absolutely everything she wanted. The girl told him that she was not ready and understood that this was really the truth, which was very painful for her. Still, she understood that this was really the end, so she had to do justice. She activated her superpower and was ready to go upstairs together to explain to all the people what they had to do. They suddenly couldn't understand how she could rise up so easily because they had been trying to achieve this for a long time and suddenly she was able to realize it herself. Unfortunately, the girl only remained silent, did not pretend to be him, and did not even accompany him. She said that as a guardian she always understood that this world was hopeless. The girl said that the connection between the human world and the kingdom was broken, so she did not have the strength to return everything as it was. The guy said that she was very smart and it was good that she took the first step in particular openness, but also they had already gotten down to business so she had to move with them. He said that he would introduce himself again and he was her destiny, which should make her a new inhabitant of heaven. The guy wanted to do this and so he activated his lightning with the help of which he wanted to rise and show her the other world. He began to move upward together with this girl, because he wanted to go to heaven to show her what she could lose. The guy said that she deserves the title of the strongest opponent and she is practically a god because her blow is amazing and it is fast and also incredible. He said that it was unlikely that they would be able to defeat her without any effort, so he followed her to kill her. The girl said that she would like to understand what was going on, but he just left. Suddenly she noticed that most likely her wish was about to come true. He said that he worked a lot for this moment. And now she suggests that he just leave, it was the biggest stupidity he had ever heard. The guy said that today she had to do it and made his first attack, which she was able to calmly repel thanks to the fact that she activated her abilities. She said that she always respected him and also said that deity is just some kind of illusion carried out by some angel. In fact, this was not the case and she would have to fight one of the strongest players in this game. She also said that if he had not appeared in front of her and the world had not responded, she would have thought that it was just a joke. The guy wanted to knock her down so that she would understand that I had no choice and therefore delivered an instant kick that she fought off. Simply incredible battles took place there and no one understood what the whole point of this battle was except the guy himself. He told her to stop resisting because he wanted to do absolutely everything so that the two of them could live in comfort. He said that they should make peace with her normally and be comfortable so that this world would remain safe and sound. My friend, some two archers noticed that some strange things were happening there and they became very scared, because they could die. The guy said that he wanted to take her with him, but she replied that her will would not change under any circumstances. The girl couldn't understand why he was so obsessed and wanted him to finally sort it out. She understood that it would just be a battle and she would need to defeat him. After all, no one wanted to give up because everyone had their own motive. She said that she could only defeat him and force him to abandon this idea once and for all because she did not want to stop being a celestial. The girl released her attack and three jets flew out from her with the help of which she wanted to make a grab and grab the guy. He said that she doesn't change and she's still trying to fight him, although he understands that she's not a fighter for him at all. The girl got angry after hearing such words, one of the most powerful abilities, and released a huge blade. 
he said that the soul is condensed and transformed into a divine weapon. Most likely, this was her method of fighting that she liked to use. The guy shouted to his spirit to move forward and repel these attacks. After all, he already wanted to send her to heaven without any resistance. The girl began to move with him and they really fought and he even liked the fact that she activated such an ability because it turns out she needed his blood. The guy told her not to worry at all and this time he would make sure she calmed down and she would be able to overcome the disaster. Meanwhile, this city continued to be destroyed and people no longer knew what to do. After all, they began to worry about their homes, which they loved very much. And people and knights began to look at what was happening there. After all, they could not understand who could activate such big problems for this city. The guy said that he had not been here for a very long time and there were already too many middle-aged people here. So something had to be done about it. But he also knew that there is only one truth and no matter what the temperament or image is, she is still very far from him. She said that in such a situation he simply does not have the right to say all this with a calm face because he could die. The guy didn't understand what kind of situation this was because it turned out to be very underestimating him. The guy now I'll show him who he really is. He said that he could drive her into a corner and she would still beg his forgiveness for considering him very weak. The guy began to calmly fight and his lightning returned back to this world to show everyone that he really is God. No one understood what was happening again and people began to fear that some powerful explosions had begun to occur here. The girl tried to stop him. After all, she saw that the guy was much stronger than she imagined. Thanks to her pictograms, she seemed to be able to do something, but her strength was not yet as developed as a guy. She told him to stop looking at her with such honest eyes and he has no right to involve people in this. The guy said that there is a very old saying that says that heaven is not kind to everyone. The guy asked her if she thinks that this world is doomed. And even if this is so, she shouldn't have such a violent reaction. The guy couldn't understand why she didn't want to try herself in the role of God, because in this ability she would have many chances. The girl thought about it and told him one very important truth that she had been trying to hide all this time. The guy didn't care at all that they were trying to hurt him somehow. The knights told the guy himself not to dare talk to this lady like that because she was a saint and no one should offend her. But suddenly this angered him even more. And so he showed who was in charge here and sent them to sleep a little so that they could look at their behavior. The guy told her to just watch in silence because he was already sick of it and he didn't want to run after every person who was trying to refuse. Suddenly she couldn't understand why he decided to have her watch this. She noticed that the knights of the eastern expedition were rushing to help, so now they could still conquer this piece and send this guy back. The girl watched all this and there a huge number of people were ready to fight against this guy. Even she was sometimes afraid of them because she saw how many there were. The monks asked the girl to wait a little while they set a boundary for her on the battlefield of the high society because this was very important for their religion. The general said that by his order they must immediately retreat and leave this city, he understood that it would be better for everyone because everyone would suffer if they did not do this. The girl said that this is not a battle in which they can just interfere, so they should leave so that they are not in danger. After this, the guy decided to fight her after all. After all, he was tired of waiting for them to evacuate and he wanted to take this girl with him to heaven. He didn't care that they tried to attack him from any direction, and he fought off any attack, even one that killed a mere mortal. The girl shouted at them to stop the attack and leave immediately because she understood that they could not resist such a strong warrior like him. The commander said that since she was fighting, they couldn't just leave because they had to fight for her until the very last Miga. He shouted that it was a great honor for them to fight with Her Majesty and he said that that guy was just a man and I wouldn't be able to calmly deal with him. They asked her to allow them to fight. And the guy watched this whole circus and he even liked it a little. He said that even in the face of such a powerful enemy, they do not think of running away but chose to fight next to her, which means that they love her. He asked her to do it not even for him and try again for their sake. The guy said that if they cooperate, then everything will work out for her, and after that some very strange battles were activated there. She said that he was really very cunning, but she would not just stand there and endure all this because she was not ready to die for the sake of some residents. The girl decided to show him everything she was ready for and rose up thanks to her superpower and activated the light. Suddenly she realized that this was the very reason for which he came here for her, because thanks to this power she could become a celestial. 
And finally she was able to understand that she had truly become a celestial being and rose high up straight to this gate that led to a new future. She was able to fly very high thanks to the fact that she believed in herself and was able to resist this guy. She looked very beautiful because thanks to the fact that she had mastered her powers, she was ready to fight. Here she was finally able to understand that this was her home in which she could become what every ordinary mortal dreams of. The Phoenix girl saw that her friend was finally able to cope with this and she didn't even believe that he would succeed. She said that the gates of heaven where they meet new gods are closed, leaving only the gates for receiving spectacles, there is nothing here that could surprise her. It really was divine and the girl was glad that finally someone could come to her. They began to greet each other like real friends. It turns out that the girl who had just arrived knew the name of the second one and she was shocked by what you were telling about her. Earlier, he said that as soon as he remembered it, his fist began to itch and he wanted to hit someone for preventing him from resting and thinking. She also recalled moments when they were sitting together and he saw some kind of chicken and said that it looked very much like this girl. Everyone was shocked that he mentioned her so often because for him she turned out to be more than an ordinary assistant. As soon as she flew here, she thought that initially she looked like a raven, because the guy kept telling her that she turned into a bird. She smiled and said that as soon as she saw her the guy was talking nonsense, in fact she was beautiful. The guy and his assistant returned back and he was happy to see his old girlfriend with whom he started it all. The girl said that she really missed him and did it very sarcastically. She got angry at him and started beating him because he thought she was some kind of stupid chicken or even a goose. The girls watched this and the eldest said that she needed to get used to it. The guy was very offended by her because she really beat him well because he said some stupid things about her, like that she was a chicken. The guy told her to set her priorities. After all, she is setting a very bad example for a newcomer who has just arrived to them. He also told the girl not to pay attention because she was just a stupid mascot and he wanted to immediately show her the palace. The phoenix girl said that he didn't understand anything at all because she told him to stop. She also said that he was just like a rag doll that everyone kicked. The guy smiled and said that he was sure that she couldn't do anything about it because she was angry that she didn't move with him through different worlds and that only turned him on more. The girl continued to deal with them because he had already exhausted her very much. And the new one sat and began to think about what she should do here. The blonde said that he was suffering very much because of her and she had enough of such adventures. Mo Lan told her not to blame herself, because the master will not blame her, but on the contrary, he will love her more than anyone. She said that many more adventures awaited them, so they should get comfortable here so that she would understand everything. Suddenly, for some reason, the light disappeared and they did not understand where they were, because just recently they were all in one place. But suddenly the girl finally made herself an incredible transformation and again turned out to be an incredibly beautiful phoenix who pleased with her color. They began to move and did not understand what was happening. The guy also felt very strongly that he had problems because something was wrong and everything became dark. Phoenix said that in heaven there is a very urgent problem that needs to be dealt with soon so they should listen to it. No one understood what happened here too, and they wanted to understand why everything turned out so unexpectedly. Phoenix said that in either case, the heavenly power is not enough to maintain the eternal light, so they will have to work on it. The girl told them not to be nervous because heaven actually happens very often like this and they will have to get used to it because it's just routine life. It all depended on energy so no one had to worry about it. The guy asked her why she didn't tell him about this before, because this was really a problem for him. Still, the newest one can explain to them that they can glow on their own, maintaining the flow of energy takes a lot of effort. What if the girl rose up and showed them that it all really started to work and they shouldn't worry about it? The guy said that after all, this is a problem that needs to be solved as soon as possible. She explained to him that the solution is very simple, you just need to restore energy. The guy began to apologize to the girl because she had just arrived, there was already some kind of mess that they needed to slowly correct. She told him that she needed to decide this together because she was also a new resident of this place. And the blonde began to get very nervous because she didn't like the fact that they started communicating so closely with each other. She said that the exchange of feelings was over and therefore something had to be done to put this world in an ideal place again. The girl waved at him and said that this guy was not at all reliable, so she should keep this in mind when she was with him. The girl didn't even know what to tell him 
but the guy explained that before his arrival she was the only resident in this case and she made it a habit to put pressure on herself. Everything in this world is changing for the better and she even trusts him now. And later she can even rely on him if he is worthy of it. He said that they had a long way to go, so they needed to move so as not to waste this time in vain. They found themselves in some new world that had an incredible name of six zeros. She began to ask him why this world is so strange, because there were only ruins here and they did not look new at all. The guy explained to her that in ancient times the heavenly passes had not yet disappeared and at that time there were three thousand worlds and the connections of the heavenly court were very close, but unfortunately now they are lost. He also explained that this was the very place where he felt the presence of energy and realized that thanks to this he would be able to see the door to the heavenly kingdom, which he then did. He continued to tell her how he had absorbed a huge amount of energy, similar to how it works without it. He really liked talking about it because he understood that no one else could show such things except him. He touched this seal and felt in his eyes that with the help of this he could dismantle this pass. The guy began to examine what was inside this world through his power of energy and realized that this was some kind of small world in which it was very crowded. He noticed that some girl was sitting there and the atmosphere very much reminded him of the real live one that he was used to seeing. Suddenly it dawned on him that the woman who was sitting was he sure. He was shocked to see her. The girl was surprised because the guy stopped moving completely after he thought, he said that everything was fine with him, he did not expect to see what he thought. He said that it was useless to think too much and therefore he had better just finish it quickly. After all, if they finish earlier, they will be free. The girl said that she would save time, she would like to be with him just the two of us and spend this time in pleasure. The guy told her that it was just a terrible thought and she should calm down because they were just workmates. The girl began to imagine that they would again make some great fight in which they would fight. The guy actually thought that she had gone crazy. She said that the battle of heavenly tribulation for various reasons did not like it at all, it was really too sad. She told him that she would like to, and he replied that she should wake up, because he created all this and not some kind of nature. The girl did not understand such a difference and just wanted him to tell her the truth, namely, whether he would fight with her or not. He said that familiarity with the needs of employees was simply necessary and therefore it had to develop thanks to the fact that he provided such an opportunity. Girl hairdryer and cop I began to explain to her how difficult it is to move from how you spend money to saving and vice versa because it is a very difficult process. She showed her some kind of map and explained that it is necessary for games and she downloads it only when she configures the plugin. She didn't understand what words she was saying. And what does the download plugin have to do with it? Finally, the guy could not return with this girl and they were very tired because he took a lot of things with him. Most likely the guy came at the wrong time, these girls decided to discuss something among themselves. She said that he came at the wrong time and he was just passing on previously important lessons that everyone who is in heaven needs to know. The girl was asked what happened to this lady because she was in very bad condition and was already very tired. He explained that everything was fine and she was just tired because he had depleted her energy. The girls didn't like the fact that she was so exhausted and asked what the guy did to her after all. She's still a newbie. But the guy told her to discard the vulgar ideas. Suddenly the girl finally woke up and they were happy. She told Tanya to blame the guy because she did it all of her own free will. She also added that this strong hand almost instantly destroyed her defense, next time she will definitely be able to deal with it. The girl did not understand what had happened and felt somehow deceived. Their face turned into something strange. The girl got angry and asked him what he did to her and why she felt so bad because she didn't like the girl behaving like that. The guy tried to look at the map and she told him that it was an ancient artifact that she had recently completed for construction. She also explained that in order to make his work easier, she completely changed it and also made it newer so that he could deal with it calmly. Absolutely everything was written there, as well as places that had not yet been restored, she wanted to show him absolutely everything so that he could understand this world. She extended her hand to him and said that they had given him the most important part and he would have to figure it out himself. She showed him a huge tower called the Nine Golden Air Treasures Pagoda. The guy was happy when he saw this tower and the girl explained to him that initially this place was where the gods of the heavenly kingdom stopped and rested. She said that the ninth level was only for the immortal. The guy saw that there was a martial arts hall there and said that this was his new place for training. 
The girl said that this tower is very special and it opens levels depending on the amount of energy. The guy shouted that he needed to step over the work and the girl said, well, give these words and before his return she examined small measures using a universal search engine. He said that now they have the opportunity to not only improve their buildings but also look at small measures. The girl said that she recommended that he first find the chosen one from the palace of beasts and only then deal with new matters. He didn't understand what the beast palace was for at this stage, but she explained that the small ones of the world are suitable for immortal talent and also they now have a shortage of immortal talents. She told him that she shouldn't consider it as an insult and that the likelihood that he would end up there was very high, but he told her to shut up. The girl told him not to be so angry and already wanted to dance with him because she had liked him for a very long time, but she could not win his heart. She told him to hurry up very much and open new portals for him into small worlds, because there he could find new people for himself. He noticed that only one sparkled in a very strange way and therefore he needed to move exactly there to get what he wanted. Everyone was happy when he pulled out this card with a girl that she really really liked because she was just as beautiful as everyone else. The phoenix girl told him to open a new portal for them to a new world and only the two of them could go there. This all turned out to be due to the fact that the passage hit something and became unstable, and just in case, she needed to go with it. The guy told the girl not to worry and she understood that she would soon get some kind of burns again due to the fact that she should not leave this place. The guy still followed her because they had a new mission that they had to complete. He pressed her tightly to him and they fell into the same teleport that transported her to another world. They were able to quietly disappear there and soon they will find themselves in a completely different place. The girls were together and did not understand where they had disappeared. These two were very close to the portal. She didn't understand why it was completely closed and now they couldn't get there with them. Meanwhile, they tried to move on through it to find the very girl for whom they jumped there in the first place. The guy asked if she was sure that this was not a time warp, and she replied that the search mirror as a whole is fragile and by chance anything can happen. He said that this did not calm him down at all and they landed completely in world number 16. The guy said that in the future, the search mirror organization's priority will be to remain in the direction of stability, so she does not want to sit in the drum in the future. The guy replied that he doesn't want that either and also dragging her into this because if she gets into trouble again it won't be easy. And suddenly, after he began to rise, he noticed that there was some kind of fox under him on which he landed with his fifth point. She seemed to be dead but was still breathing. The phoenix girl said that foxes are very evil if she dies while sitting on it, he will turn into a ghost and will haunt them. She also said that if it were a thousand-year-old forest and capable of turning into a beautiful woman, he would be a little interested. The fox started to get very nervous and bit him because he landed right with his butt on his face. The guy told the bird to forget about it and also told her that she needed to focus on the business for which they came here. The bird said that this world is full of spiritual energy and belongs to the side of the precious earth. After all, everyone who lives here is very strong. She also said that there was a war here that lasted millions of years and finally the prince concluded an agreement between people and animals by opening a cultivation system. He was really very interested in how this was possible, because an animal spirit could unite a person and an animal into a pair to create a connection. He also added that this is a very strange world because there is no danger. And their mission is to find a new celestial, but in fact there was danger here. They looked back and noticed how someone started to run very quickly. This means that they had to hide because otherwise they would have fallen under these people. The fox ran with all her might, there was some mutant behind her who wanted to finish her off, because he clearly didn't like the forest. Then he realized that the forest was luring monsters again and there really was some kind of huge monster behind it. The guy noticed that there was really too much food here and they had mutated due to an imbalance of elements. It's great that they came here because they won't be able to deal with it. But suddenly he realized that his powers were not working and all the possibilities that he had used before simply could not obey him. He got very angry and started shouting why he couldn't do anything, because he had managed it once or twice before. Finally, he realized that his energy had disappeared into thin air and he could not use it. The bird said that she knows that the prince forcibly changes the laws of this world in order to introduce the system of the spirit of animals. He got very angry. After all, not only are the animals dangerous, but because of the laws, he also cannot overtake them. Finally, 
he was able to understand that the monster continued to run after him and not after this little fox, and now he really had to somehow save us his ass. The guy realized that the monster was really much stronger than him and because of this he would have to find a special maneuver to escape. He shouted for everyone to get well because he wanted to save himself because he understood that this monster could kill him. But suddenly, while he was running, he noticed something, this was the very girl they were hunting for. After all, it was she who was not noticed in the picture. He said that this was their goal and it was finally able to appear. Although they thought that they would not receive anything from this world except the coffin lid, he looked at the picture and realized that its appearance matched. The girl finally realized that she was able to punch a big hole in him. The guy looked at her and I saw that the size was really something different. The girl waved to them. The guy couldn't believe that all the people in this world looked like that, because she was just a giant who sat on this monster. The girl asked the guy if he was okay and told him to never do anything dangerous again. She began to worry a little about him. The guy said that he was completely fine and he was here to make her one of those who simply won absolutely everything in life. She told him that the next time he behaves well, she will be able to hit him really hard. The guy said that he didn't talk at all so she had to take it to heart and just make it work better. She told him to come back because she had already played enough with them and she didn't care about what he offered. Finally, I couldn't understand that this is a combination of spirit beasts and also the cultivation system of this world is even more amazing. He said that he thought about this girl, that she was really something special, and she said that this time no one was hurt, otherwise the company itself would have started looking for trouble. The guy said that she deserves to become his favorite and with such talent, she is really capable of following him to the next level. The guy said that he is the supreme lord of heaven, he came here to see that she is kind and gifted. He wanted to personally make her a celestial. The girl asked him why he hadn't found you yet, she didn't want to understand what was wrong with him, she thought that he would immediately run away like everyone else did. The guy thought that according to common sense, his first appearance as an immortal should be spectacular. He said that this time he was moved all over the road in the opening scene and he was saved by the target, which is not a good start. The guy said that the chance was decreasing, she would be taken to work in a good place where she would be fed and housed and she would never die. The girl refused this and he said that if she joins now, she will also be able to fulfill her wishes for free. The guy said that if she really went with her, then she would be able to comprehend the great power, which should be everyone's cherished desire. The girl was finally able to understand what the problem was and said that he was just lost and that's why he was chasing and talking to her. She told him to just say so and then she could immediately take him to the city if he wanted it. He understood that there would be no more conversation with her. Therefore, he had to play along. And the fox moved with them all the time and wanted to overhear absolutely everything that they were thinking. She was able to lead them to the spiritual beast master's guild where there were many people who were half with their spirits. She put her hand on the table and wanted to call someone because in this way she made a loud blow. She came up and told her friend that today she was able to find something very interesting that she wouldn't even believe. She pointed her finger at the guy and said that he was lost in the forest, so she was already able to do her job. The guy said that he talked about it all the way but she didn't care. He finally realized that it turns out that all the people who live in ordinary worlds do not want to be brought into the gods. For them, it's just ordinary life. The guy said that it is not at all easy to become immortal and everyone has their own path that you must go through to achieve the goal. He said that there was no need to force her. The girl began to worry very much because she wanted to give in to this illusion. That is why she did all sorts of tests, but she was told that there was no such test. Some evil guys told them all to get out of the way because they were interfering with their mission. The girl looked at this little animal and realized that it was a winged tiger where she promised last time that she would no longer catch them. The girl was deceived and the bad guy said that the masters have the ability to prevent the evil plague from harming people. And suddenly the guy looked around and realized that there was really something very strange there that began to scare and bother him. He felt that for some reason it became very hot and absolutely everyone who was there was able to demonstrate this. They all started to feel pain in their butts, I didn't shout for someone to come to their aid because they couldn't stand such pain. The entire city was completely illuminated and no one could tolerate such a strong fire that came straight from the heavens. This was the same girl who simply turned with the phoenix bird into an ordinary woman and that is why it became very hot here. The guy asked if she was okay, 
because he noticed that she almost burned the whole city. The girl felt very bad, she said that everything was fine with her and that she had absolutely everything under control, although in fact this was not the case. The guy was trying to understand what the plague that everyone was talking about was calling because he wanted to find out everything. It was very difficult for her to speak, but she still could not hold it and said that the culprit of this destruction of the heavenly court and the reduction of all worlds was this plague.